everyone else that isn't the second or the 29th and that isn't a solo player or centaur go slot up on red so again 29th and second on blue everyone else that isn't solo or untagged uh go red 29th then, let's go Bravo. so why not be red then lot. right pierce do you mind if Russ takes a team leader Uh, can you guys on a red four alpha one that aren't CSC please clear out for our guys? Can you move Sarah Robertson over to Bravo Squad later? Yeah, which team is that? Blue. Staff down to BTL. Okay, so right's got a platoon lead, blue still needs a platoon lead. Unless you guys want to lead from the squad. No, I don't want to lead from the squad. No, I'll take squad lead. Who's that? Rust. We need platoon lead. Okay, I can take platoon if you don't want. I don't want to. Good to see you again. Did anybody force slot Boston earlier? He's out Give me one slot. second, guys. No, he wasn't touched. Cool. Where does he need to go? Boston, where do you need to go? Uh, can you put me as uh, Delta 2 Op 4? Uh, T Lean. Okay. We're just Thank setting you. up the uh, multi. May Kiefer get force slotted to Red 4 Alpha 1 AAR. Okay. Thank you kindly. Alright, let's get. Uh, uh... I'm just, uh pack update if you don't mind me asking like a month and a half ago oh, i'm good i should be anyway and then uh anyone who hasn't slotted yet anyone who's unslotted solo players and whatnot go slide up on blue when i was joining it said signature mismatch so i was a little scared uh, i got another guy coming for a centaur if that's a problem and he needs to be with me are you on red boston yes okay no. yeah Oh, or, sorry. or whoever that was. Yeah, yeah preferably. Kadian is. Are you, are you just one person? Okay, go there slot up on red. Sorry, so we're um. We're just updating the multi, getting a lot yeah, of so POVs here. Course, this is gonna be like a 55 dudes. person we're thing. We're gonna see a lot of cray cray tonight, guys. <laughs> Let me now check donation. Uh, Sculpt, thanks for the $15, man. Um, nice to see you again as well. Anyone who's just connecting, if you haven't uh, I hope been told you enjoy to tonight. Yet, uh, and hopefully this will be uh, one crazy, crazy operation. <laughs> just um, coordinating with Bar, making sure we're getting everyone on the multi. To, uh, get shit, and then we'll, uh, we'll leave it to the platoon leads. And we should be good to go now. Uh, quick question, is Anderson joining us today or he's out he, for a little bit? He's he is on vacation. vacation. With the other half of my team. Strack, all right i don't know why my chat box decided to uh, shrink here let me see if i can increase the size okay. of this like it got super small i can barely read the all text right, so over I'm, there uh, i'm happy with these numbers so let's push it to uh blue four platoon lead got 60 seconds uh, whatever i can uh, go ahead and organize I can your read team text. it's fine all right we had some people move around last minute i had this in my head All right, so ID let's go ahead, have a look at out, what these uh, guys are organizing one. here. This is going to be Jeffrey round one Olaf for tonight. Bay. Go MMG. All right, you might want that. Uh, hey, Don, how you doing? Well. How are you all doing, by the way? <laughs> Barbarian and I, we're going to be shoutcasting this as usual. Boston, Blue said, four, we have someone else coming uh, in? Up four is being we given do? a 25% yeah, uh, person advantage because uh, Up four okay, is well, going to be to start this yeah, out. the attacking Go team. Up four also uh, has two BCR 80s. Blue four has two Humvees yeah, with M2s. Yeah, 
And if you don't let's see, see slot into make, MMG. Op 4's leader is going to be Indigo Fox, with, uh, one of the veterans Montgomery of FNF. Manor, huh? Let's do it. And Blue 4 is going to be led by Sergeant Montgomery Rust. Manor, I haven't seen Manor. him lead yet. He's from the 15th MEU. Interesting. Are you happy with that? Even a few uh, of those guys Rust. are over here. <laughs> yep. Looks good. But he right, has Indigo, organized into... Let's see, two different squads under Alpha yep, and Bravo. He also right, cool. may, has an MG team uh, and a Delta fully one, crewed Matt team, Nidal probably to deal with those BTR 80s. Very four, good call so there. The Matt team. Um, Meanwhile, right. Indigo looks like he right. has <laughs> a fully loaded Alpha squad. We see some TSB uh, members in uh, Alpha 2 right, right there. No, go. Are you you that go. And he also That's wants cool. two That's MG cool. teams cool. and a full mat team. And he's also got here. one BTR okay. crew, but not the second one. Nope, there's the second one. There it is. There's just no section lead for it, so he's going to make sure both of those BTRs are fully crewed. Actually, Arcor, take Alpha squad medic. Or take Alpha 2 Medic. Flush them out a bit more. Yeah, right, Odon. Um, maybe uh, some time tomorrow since I'll be taking take tomorrow the off my time, so Blood Wayman. Maybe not. We'll finish. see. Barb is Still here. He's uh, he's on the other slot, so yep. he's Give not talking yet, though, because they're yeah, in the main channel minute. organizing. So. Strat, Carpenter, you good? You know? Yeah, we're all good. What am I supposed to go on? Yeah. Cord, go ahead and hop into uh, Combat Engineer. Sorry, man, I didn't see it. Uh, where? Which one? Red yeah, right out. Alpha One Combat. We'll talk about it on DMs after this. Hey, Kusho, you still have an empty slot in Bravo One. You can't take an auto man rifleman. So I'll slot up there. Okay, I'm slotted. Uh, Blue Four has a single element. Yeah, yep. current shot. Get up to Bravo One Medic. Is safe stock uh, 10 minutes or 15? Thank you. It's going to be 15 and pushing it through in 5 seconds. Ops, good to go. All right. So infantry wise, it's going to be pretty even because God it's a 28 23 seconds. split, which is about um, a five person difference. But those five Jeez, people are going to be Christ. crewing BTR. Hey, so if Blue Four can get their um, mat team in a position to strike those BTRs, <laughs> that's going to make no, no, it even no. on the infantry fight. Yeah, don't we know? Don't you know we're on Martin time now? Not so Anderson? right off the bat, <laughs> seeing a few possibilities of uh, ingenuity, but oh, otherwise it's even though you Op4 has an Austin advantage in that. players, that, that could Austin potentially get Austin? nullified, especially uh, if last week, uh, last Wait, week's pattern of assets getting Martin tracked really that. early on continues. Page week. Yes. Hurry up. Quick brief. So, trying something a little bit different with the uh, the markers. So uh, this week for all but uh, the second mission because it's neutral, uh, you'll be able to see where the uh, where both teams start. So it'll give you a bit of a better idea of uh, what's going to be going on right at the start. Uh, so what FNF used to do, and then we started hiding them. So going to test out this for a little while. Uh, there's also one other new thing. Uh, once we push it through, check your map. You're going to see a briefing tab for uniforms, and you'll be able to see the uniforms for each team. Hmm. Um, otherwise, this is a attack defend. Attackers just gotta search for and destroy two weapons caches. Defenders, you just have to defend them. Any, any questions? Any view range limit? No, it's just uh, like 3,000 is a cap, so whatever. Attackers are good. Okay, round one starts now. Good luck, have fun. All right, one second. I got to get a DM here. Someone was asking what the multi was. And otherwise, I'm now with oh, Barbarian. Oh, shit. Dead boy, what up? How you doing, Barb? I'm doing all right. Been a long day of stocking shells and uh, doing stuff in the back room, but now I'm here. <laughs> what in the back room? Oh, well. Um, stacking. Oh. Just a slight. So right off the bat, I was already talking about how um, Op 4, it's a 28-23 split, but Op 4 has dedicated five people to those BTRs, so infantry on the ground-wise, it's going to be rather even. Yeah, um, sorry. 
Um, my computer's acting funky so far, but yeah, um, two BTR 80s on Red Four with a bunch of guys Tigers as well, mm-hmm. and then uh, I think they, yeah they just have those two um, uh, M2 Humvees. Fog's actually pretty thick over on Blue Four side of yeah on the uh, second objective further southeast. There is a good bit of fog here, but it does break by the time you get to the northwesternmost objective. Uh, this is pretty Dominoes esque, but both caches are going to be active at the same time, so. I'm not seeing any particular map border either, so Op4 could try to sneak around hiding in the fog. And I'm not seeing any good places for Blue4 to set up uh, their map team Overwatch other than the obvious uh, construction complex area. Uh, they could also consider doing the crane, but that's going to be way too exposed. Yeah, so, the crane would curious. be way too exposed, um, mm-hmm. but I think the construction side would be good. Um, they do have enhanced movement, so they could get on top of the staircase at the construction site and have some decent cover, yep. um, and use that as a good spot. But um, we we will see. Um, I'm uh, I don't know. With always with this kind of dominoes like um, setup, like you said, I'm I want to see the attacking force go and strike from the rear. But mm-hmm. like we've seen a couple times, I think if they did that, it would just lead to um, harder fighting in the closer objective. Because uh, the north at the town of Alicampos proper, um, pretty tight spaces, lots of windows, lots of alleys. It would be a lot harder to attack than uh, the town to the south. So I think they should brute force it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, now those BTR, sh- uh, we'll see how they use them, but... They can use them for a decent transport, and uh, obviously they don't want to go over the hill because then they'd just be plain view of the map team. But hold up, real uh, quick to interrupt you. If you look at Op for um, Private First Class Arcor, he's doing the uh, ace throw glitch where you spin around and jump, and it throws you across. He looks like he actually mastered it. I saw him do it like six or seven times in a row, and he's next to some of our TSB players. So I guess he's showing them how it's done. <laughs> they shouldn't. They should know pretty well how to use it, but it's always good to see a demonstration. <laughs> exactly. Also, someone in um, <laughs> someone in my chat was asking how people can get in on this. Um, for me personally, you can always shoot me a DM uh, after these uh, ops conclude or during intermission. I'll uh, shoot you a Discord link. But it's also I've been recently uh, taking all the highlights and full Friday night fight videos, and I've been putting links to their Discord in those as well. Uh, I know they have a few custom things in their mod set, specifically, um, you know, uh, frickin' configs that rescript all of their weaponry to do the same amount of damage, and the armor values are set the same, because traditionally, putting Op 4 Russians against uh, US Blue 4, Russia gets the advantage because they have the better armor and the higher caliber weaponry, but mods like that are to kind of nullify that advantage. So. Yes, and uh, I have a, a command in my stream. Uh, for joining all the communities I play with, so I just posted that in your uh, stream. For oh, of testing. course. I mean, what what is that stream for people that aren't aware? Uh, that stream would be twitch.tv forward slash barbarian weeb. That is B A R B A R I A N W E B. The voice of T S V W E E B. No, but I'm I'm over here. Sniper wolf here. Also have a, is Sniper Wolf here? Oh, it's probably it. <laughs> no, you said uh, Voice of TSB. But anyway, um, also, by the way, you can find him in the multi-twitch. Uh, he sent me a multi-twitch barbarian that is uh, that had his name in front of mine. I quickly fixed that before I publicized it. Uh, I don't know where he got that idea, but anyway, let's talk about the AO again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, obviously, you, you with... Um, go yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. I've, I've been talking too much. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm glad you finally recognized that. Um, the uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, there are no map or visible map borders on the map screen. Mm-hmm. Um, that is, I if I had to guess, that'd be an error, not a, a feature. Um, but we'll see if Red Four tries to take advantage of it. The way that that works is if they try, <clears> if one <throat> team tries to exit the uh, map barrier, it acts like a trigger in the sense of they leave it, they'll get a warning saying to return or they will be killed. So Mm -hmm. if they leave it, then they'll just go back in and we'll see that kind of movement. Usually that's only for ground assets though, because we've seen multiple times that helicopters leave that area and are perfectly fine. But talking about Op4's insurgent vectors, I mean, we see them uh, 
Looks like Victor Reznov taking the Titan AT again. And oh. our marksman for Op4 is going to be uh, FR Patriots. Uh, but in terms of their insurgent vectors, because they've got, you know, six gases to work with on top of the two BTRs. Of course, there's the obvious one where you've got the uh, Hill 121 overlooking Ali Campos. But I've been looking a little to the right and left of this, and to the right, there's a few more really good hills that should opt for decide to. Uh, if you look at Hill 93 at 106, 141, you got that nice little shack there. It's got perfect eyes on both air, uh, objective areas where there's caches. Uh, I could foresee Op4 trying to sneak Reznov over there to get his mat uh, ready to go to uh, basically schwack either or both of those uh, HMG Humvees should they be deployed. Also looking you further say back, uh, it is at point uh, nine four at one zero six one four one. It's very open, but it does have really good eyes on both AOs where the caches are. Uh, Ooh, and with that yeah. low fog uh, towards the second objective, again, further to the southeast, that does open the ability for a Gaz to come around doing a lawn uh, over because there's no map borders here, at least that I can visually see. Um, they could easily sneak in because the area near Polaco and Neochori, uh, specifically because of this fog, and there is a lot of patches of elephant grass and concealment, it would not be difficult for a small strike team to sneak in for the rear, especially if Op4 takes their BTRs and goes the obvious route and starts harassing things. But again, mm -hmm. those BTRs, it's a very big concern because, you know, they're bulky, they're slow, but no matter what, they're going to be attacking from the high ground unless they go directly to the east and around those big hills to try to flatten out. Uh, especially yeah, if and, there uh, is a... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, this isn't Star Wars. Having the high ground is not an advantage. <laughs> um, being able to see everything means that everything can see you. Mm -hmm. uh, especially in this kind of scenario where the enemies will, are, in this case... Blue four being defending, they will be they will have their guns looking at them, especially mm -hmm. that since they know where uh, Red four is coming from. So Sergeant Mannerheim is the javelin mat gunner for Blue four. I'm gonna be curious to see where he sets up shop, but he's probably gonna be with one or two observers with their binos out, looking across the horizon for those BTR eighty alphas. And there are so many places he could hide and still have really good eyes on all of these uh, large ridges and just anywhere the BTR can come from. So that's the really big fear. Uh, and it is 23 to 28. Op4 has dedicated five people to those BTRs. So if they're both knocked out real quick, that could pretty much nullify the numbers advantage Op4 has and make this a 23 v 23. Yeah, and as um, we saw last week, it was a running theme that uh, the attacking team just completely mishandled their assets mm -hmm. and got them killed very early in the fight before they could be utilized very much. In addition to the Javelin, we also have a number of Blue 4 guys with uh, M136s, uh, as well as the M203 can do damage to those BTR-80s. Mm -hmm. uh, damage, Sholin, by the way, has the uh, Marksman Rifle for Blue 4, and it's also curious that the uh, Blue 4 guys did get two Humvees with 50 cals. 50 cal can pen the BTR-80 model, and I'd be curious to see if anyone has any grenade launchers. I'm seeing that on the team leaders and squad leaders. Uh, HE won't do much damage against an 80, but an HEDP can pen as well if the BTR-80s get within close range. But I don't Absolutely. see them doing that unless they go along the eastern flank and use the deflade to their advantage, because if they get too far up on the hills, again, that mat gunner is going to quickly take them out. Yeah, and I just want to bring attention to the 29th Infantry Division guys on Blue 4. The ones lined up uh, neat in a row. Mm -hmm. They all have the M668 uh, collimator sight on every rifle. And that's just, uh, it's a level of autism that you don't often see in something like this. I mean, don't they get a choice in scopes? Uh, they get some choice. I think they have the CCO, the holographic, maybe uh, an ACOG. But, well, I can um, see, I can see why people would prefer the CCO because that just puts a single red dot in the middle. The holographic puts a circle around it, can sometimes blind things, especially if you're true, limited true. to only a red dot. You only want that one red dot in the area. But I do like seeing 
uh, the uniform of, uh, you know, you know, what's the word? Like the uniformity, the uniformity. of people yeah. just all lined up. It shows that, you know, FNF is home to both casual communities sending representatives and actual milsims. Uh, I saw someone in the 15th MEU. Uh, I think he's... Uh, mm -hmm leading up for if i remember correctly but you know that is a milsim group that's um where the 506 way back when branched off from so there's there's some pretty serious contenders here and i'll be curious to see who comes out on top you know the milsim guys that really stress tactics or the casual guys i mean we do have some tsb members on the other end we've got olaf who's uh, part of fk another casual community he is with blue four he's actually in the uh, military complex and uh, there were a few members from KD and xx also here so you know it's always curious to see how all these people blend in and at the end of the day it just who has the better small scale tactics um nursk mm -hmm. is somewhere in here too he's the guy from two weeks ago that stole a uh, an enemy weapon and managed to kill an entire team by himself uh, just because of the audio PID and no one was picking up on it until Logan ran up on him and completely ruined that plan. But then Logan won us back by stealing an enemy helicopter. I mean, oh, anything can happen cool. by any single player that can give either side a massive advantage, but you don't know what it could be. For all we know, a Humvee could rush up and steal the BTR-80 from Op4, and that can be what clutches the mission. For example, <laughs> last week, Blue Force stole the, um an MRAP from, um, no, it was, uh, uh, Independent that stole the MRAP from Blue 4, and they used that as a force multiplier to win them the yeah, mission and, by time. and Blue 4 had no way to deal with it. No way at all. AT. Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Um, and so before we start, I have one thing to tell you, or a couple things to tell you, and one thing mm -hmm. to ask you. So, first thing I'm going to tell you is, after watching some of your footage, um, you can use Q and Z to elevate uh, and... Oh, elevate, yes, I can. I yep, yep. As well as uh, if you hit F1. Okay. Oh, that gets rid of the menu on the bottom, right? Yeah. So uh, a little bit of uh, quality of life stuff. But, uh, do anyway, you have TeamSpeak I, on or? Uh, do I have TeamSpeak on? Like the I plugin? Do, uh, no, I do not have the plugin on. Okay, so you have not connected TeamSpeak on the bottom right of your screen too, right? Yes. Okay, we're going to roll with that then. Yeah, we're just going to roll with that until we find a, a workaround for that. But um, yeah. also, what I was going to ask you is, um, someone asked in my chat, uh, the 50, uh, they were thought that the uh, BTR-80s were immune to 50 cals, and I don't think that's the case. No, the, uh, 50 will pen an 80. Uh, we saw that, remember when I was shoutcasting off of your stream three weeks ago? We saw uh, a technical pen a, uh, an 80 and kill one yes, of the dudes. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, no, these 80s can get penned. Uh, maybe that's the way for default yeah. RHS, but... Um, Honestly, the 80s here have, in my opinion, like the 70 damage model. Because again, Friday Night Fights rescripts a lot of their vehicles, gear, and weaponry to even everything out to make it more balanced. So uh, you might see a 50 pen, but I'm going to put my money down that they're going to get taken out by the Matt guy because he just has such a visual advantage here. Uh, I don't even remember where he is, who he was. I'm looking for him now. Um, you can, uh, I believe it's it uh, Sholin. Be... No, Sholin's the marksman. Um, do, 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 do. See, I'm so scatterbrained sometimes. I deliberately, like, went and found these people, and now I can't remember who they are. I want to say it might be Delta Four, Martin, Mannerheim, and Montgomery. I, I want to say it was one of them. You know, it could the, be, because the they're... team is at the bottom of the roster. Yeah, I mean, they are... Um, it's with Martin, who's in the uh, Humvee, right? I believe so, because yeah, if you look at Delta Four for Red Four, Victor mm -hmm. Reznov, who's we I know is the Red Four Matt Gunner. Yeah, yeah, no, they Delta are D Four, so. so they're. So. Uh, it was it was Mannerheim. Mannerheim's the guy. Yeah, I, I, they're just keeping him mobile right now, using that Humvee. So I think. Can, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I think they're gonna go to that hill I talked about at uh, point nine three, and they're gonna try to Overwatch on the left flank. Uh, that's a little risky, but that's gonna help them kind of lock things down. Meanwhile. Operation has started. Platoon HQ led by, I think it's Patriot for Op4, actually. Uh, um, Indigo Fox, I think, is the officer, but Patriot is in the car. Ah, no, gotcha, so Indigo that's why. Indigo is in the BTR, and I'm pretty sure Patriot just hurt himself. I think he's Oof. the 2IC, so he's just acting as a reconnaissance yep. um, element, and he's going to go up there. But Delta 4 is going up there as well, so... 
that might be uh, an awkward confrontation between yep, that's Blue um that's Red their mat team going up to the hill they're gonna try to hunt for any humvees that they can tell but also you got to remember the mat team guy isn't just at he also has a thermal camera and he can do a really good bit of recon with that thermal mm -hmm. camera so putting them on really high points is going to be good but platoon hq going really close to that uh hilltop for whatever reason they just did a sharp turn to the right uh and blue four is none the wiser they're looking right right now uh platoon hq though it's coming right up to that position they get off the 50 cal oh this isn't good i heard they heard it patriot's Although, also the only one up there he didn't realize patriot's it either the marksman patriot that's what patriot is he's the uh, marksman right so right they, so if they if the manorheim and them out there take him out we're already seeing some shots from uh blue four but yep um, one of the gaz is uh charged up to the first cast we're already having our first long range engagements the mat team's being shot at by suppressive forces uh, another team from alpha coming around as well first blood drawn by blue four uh an up four guy went down we're also hearing a rocket go out oh. that is going to the mat team oh no look at patriot look at patriot he's patriot's running right, running right up though and he just narrowly avoids that. I think he might have been going for that 50, uh, but it looks like the Matt guy was Patriot gunning was for man. players instead of um, the Humvee because the Humvee would have gotten killed. Patriot does oh. have his gun out, though. Oh, is starting to engage. Patriot drops down. one of them. Martin gets Drop dropped as two. well. Mannerheim's the only one still up. And he got hit by that rocket. He's Yep, so he's, he's bandaging. All over his clothes. Patriot might be going for the Vic steal, though. He might not know uh, that Meinerheim's right there. Uh, Patriot going He's up, getting the, the double tap. tap. Grenade gets oh, popped out, but he pops it on bad the bad door. Bad. Oh, no. Manerheim, no. And he oh, freaking knocks himself unconscious oh, for that. Oh, there's a skull in the corner. Oh, that is ominous. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's, that that's not supposed to be. That was something put by the mission. But now Patriot, he's looking around, trying to see through the window. Oh, no. He doesn't realize. Pops a grenade in there. That's going to further wound uh, Mannerheim, though the angle is a little... Nope, some shrapnel I still hits him. I saw some shrapnel. I, I that is bad luck. The rocket and that, oh, that, Another that grenade goes in. Go that one's, yep. And, oh, right in the gooch. Mm -hmm. But you, know you got to think about this. Now Patriot, he has a Humvee, and he has the Javelin. Oh, my God. So he can oh, do wow. a lot of damage with that, and that's not even the main fight. But he's got two long-range weapons. He can do a lot better recon now. That's that's going to be devastating for Blue Four because now oh, they God. have no long-range counter to those BTR-80s. So if he radios that in, I predict we're going to see Op4 get a lot more aggressive with its BTRs, and that's going to give them a significant advantage to this AO. But looking nice. back yeah, at look like Op4 here, they're... they're up for's initial attack is pretty much screwed only nurisk who is one of our mvps is still up he's trying to bandage a few people looks like a big explosion happened uh i'm willing to bet blue four probably booby trapped that building and was able to get yeah, quite a few guys with that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh meanwhile uh we have three more up four guys that have flanked around uh we see nemesis in that group a prominent tsb member and a lot of uh yeah, he's a T3. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't recognize don't, the name. Nemesis? No, I, I've, I've never heard of him. Yeah, funny. Okay, but anyway, Op4 is <laughs> still getting a major concave here on this ridge line, and that's going to help pin down some of the blue four guys to hopefully let Send Nurse get uh, May up, but it's also prevented blue he's four from pushing up and, um, you know, just clearing him out because he is definitely a dangerous guy, but a Grenadier round detonating right next to him, wounding him Ooh. slightly, a little bit of pen from there. We have uh, some interesting stuff going on the eastern side. We have Arcor and Pure Paradise. Um, Pure Paradise is Kadian. Arcor, I forget who he's with, but I think they might have just gotten caught out. They're on the opposite end of... No, they, they're perfectly fine, actually. But also... They're here in the town as well. Go ahead. Yep, uh, Sholin, he's lining up some shots on his own on the northeast. He's gonna... Nope, oh, there's a shot. He is trying to engage Wiki. Uh, who's part of the MG team, did get a hit on him. I do see some blood drawn, so that's going to force him to get pulled back. Uh, but he might be able to get a few more shots on that MG team as well. We'll see if he's able to kill anyone else. But by the way, BTR-80 Alpha pushed east, as I predicted. And now it's going to try to get some Overwatch uh, on some of the Blue 4 guys. Oh, I'm going to also... 
Yep, I'm gonna quickly now check across the map here to Patriot. Patriot did grab that Javelin as I predicted. He also pushed out that 50, and he is gonna possibly start sniping at Blue for Platoon HQ. Uh, it looks like he is lining up a shot. I'm surprised he's not gonna use the Javelin. Uh, fires a shot. It looks like it Ooh. didn't land any hits though. Uh, it looks like Platoon HQ. Yep, they're um, lining up a 240 team to fire up into the town. Uh, but we also see someone in blue four trying to look back at Patriots uh, with some binos. Actually, we got two people looking out in that direction. But, um, yep, he's still shooting some hits out. Dooley, who is suppressing, is also taking some fire. But overall, in the remaining town, we've got Op4 pretty much intermingled with Blue4. Uh, Nursk is still up. Uh, he is a little exposed, though. He's trying to suppress a house. Uh, he's going to possibly try to come in and solo it, but he's got to be careful because he's got Blue4 everywhere, but they're being suppressed by the ridgeline, and that's allowing Nursk to get in here. He enters a building and unfortunately goes down to Cyrus, but ends up knocking him down. But Cyrus does have friendlies nearby that could medic him up. So that's just unfortunate. Uh, when you are attacking someone above you, you have to consider they just have to look down. They got a bigger uh, target on your head and the head obviously will do more damage than a bunch of torso and leg shots compared to if you're looking up. Meanwhile, looking to we the have, south. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to say Dreek and Wheaton in there. Uh, they're taking some pretty accurate GL fire. We around just playing the building and they're yep. kind of hurt. And so they're but, looking for the tourists. And I believe that is Muniz and Nexus. Real quick, I, I hate to interrupt go you. Arcor and Paradise are battling out with Ramirez and Iodine on the southern side. Uh, there is no clear victor here, but they have exchanged a lot of fire close range. Ramirez goes down because Paradise flanked around, and now Arcor is pushing up to follow him. Oh, yeah, Arcor is quick on the attack. Dean now trying oh. to turn around to get him with a grenade, but gets jumped behind by Arcor. But Hudson now charging in, possibly to shoot people in the back. Magdum's Paradise, he was accidentally set to single shot instead of full auto. I don't think he knows Arcor was up there too. Arcor is now going to come downstairs as Hudson bandages, uh, no, but no, Arcor no. doesn't notice Arcor. him. Arcor. Hudson then Arcor. gets it. In Holy shit. Arcor, you lucky motherfucker. That was pure luck. You got to make sure that a building's fully clear, especially in this situation where you're coming you in really with four man fire teams fighting corners. fire teams. We've seen time and time again, people do not check their corners in these scenarios. Sometimes they're lucky enough to skeet by. Other times it literally costs them the life and even the game. Meanwhile, Nemesis now back on the other corner, um, fighting with Cosmonaut, gets the kill on Cosmonaut, and he can now do a lot of double Ooh, tapping. Oh, he's so lucky. He moved out yeah. of there just in time for that grenade. So I'm curious to see if he'll do some double tapping. I think he's just checking the bodies here. We just saw him throw a grenade out. I don't know where that landed. Cosmonaut woke up and actually got flung closer to the grenade. <laughs> Oh no, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah, the freaking, you know, the ace wake up glitch where it like, uh, it wakes you up, then immediately knocks you out. Jor, um, JP wakes up and only for Nemesis to double tap him. Oof, but, um, so you know how ace sometimes can wake you up for like half a second? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it did, but it armored his body closer to the grenade. Oh, and it flung them. Oh, uh, you gotta hate glitches when they work outside of your favor like that. So, yeah, Nemesis. That's a feature. Nemesis did really well with that. Uh, almost got Yay. shot in the back, but just goes to show you got a double tap. But now it's him and another guy versus three blue four guys. And Op4 still has a lot of dudes in reserve and has those two BTRs to work with. One of those BTRs, and meanwhile, has flanked around a lot. Sholand is now overwatching it, but he has nothing serious to take it out. Meanwhile, blue four only has the platoon elements to deal with it. But meanwhile, platoon HQ... Uh, has actually pushed up on his own, Rust, and he is looking around, but I don't know to what end. Meanwhile, another BTR with reinforcements for Op4 is coming into the town. I'll be curious to see if anyone has an AT4 to deal with that. Um, with how it's looking right now, I'm saying this is a pretty decisive Op4 lead. And oh, yeah. It could easily turn into a victory. No, Op4. They, um, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Well, uh, at Nemesis with, and Muniz, we have all these reinforcements coming in now. That other uh, M HMG you cook grenades uh, army yes. is just lying in the in the open. Uh, Misu and Spidey Zack look like they're going to... Uh, Misu has the AT4 out, yep. and they might try and man that Humvee, but with the, uh, just the numbers and the positioning of the Blue 4 right now, it's not looking good for them. 
So blue four is outnumbered, but they are divided. Uh, the biggest group in this uh, AO is the three blue four players that are within close proximity. Uh, if oh. Russ comes in, he could assist. Patriot also pulling up really close. Um, and and Mount, Mountain um, uh, aimed his gun right at yeah. him. He was ready to shoot. He doesn't believe what he's Patriot seeing. Patriot pulling out his javelin saying, hey, look what I found. Here you go, Mountain. Take it. I am a sniper, and I need to go back to doing sniper things. Oh, wow. I didn't realize we had players mic'd up. That's pretty impressive. I Ooh. didn't realize we had that tech. That's amazing. A grenade got thrown. Doesn't look like it did any damage, though. I think that was Robertson trying to take advantage of uh, Blue 4, or excuse me, Op 4, all bunched up right there. Uh, and Robertson also by the cash, but Op 4 doesn't oh, know yeah. where it specifically is yet. No, I think, I think, ooh. Rocket goes Easy out, hits. but unfortunately hits the wall, missing the BTR, and that's their only AT stick. Yeah, and Victor and, is now in yep. the building next to the cash, just by chance. I, they probably just got drawn to it. Yeah, but um, Victor killed Misu, Misu's partner. Yep, yeah, Misu's partner goes down, Misu is still up. Grenade goes, oh, that was a, A, that was a smoke, B, it went over the building. So, I'm not sure what his plan was with that, but mm -hmm. uh, Robertson, oh, that's a frag. Also goes over the building, but lands right at Patriot and Reznov's, uh, not quite at their feet, but... Uh, Robertson, yeah. meanwhile, changing file. Patriot pushes in. Robertson did a silly. He uh, was reloading in the doorway. Throws oh, a smoke grenade nade. inside. That might have been his last nade that he had. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, at least the, the clicking of it landing on the floor. Nope, there's a real grenade that goes off now, so we just mistyped yeah. that. I think he was going for audio cues to make these guys pull back, but now it's a 2v1. Misu needs to somehow come in and support him. Rust is also still over there, but this is a tough fight. Rust cowering yeah. behind the cash now. That's his only cover. Reznov goes down, gets double tapped, and there goes the match gunner for Op4. But Patriot's right there. He's been stealing mat guns in the past. They need to put more grenades over there or get into a different building and flank that position. Op4 does have the numbers to do that, but... Just a mess. Meanwhile, Grenadier round going by. Don't know who fired that. Might have been... Oh, it was Rust, actually. I think shooting up where Nemesis and Minus were. Yeah, the fact that Rust is up here just shows how desperate they are mm -hmm. uh, in this scenario. Um, Patriot, I, he needs to get the I'm word out fire. that this is the cash building. He might not have even recognized it with the in the commotion. Yep. But um, it, it's... It, uh, this is up against the wall. Uh, Rust and Misu are just, are, they're hanging out together, but um, they need to get over to Robinson's spot and help him out. So meanwhile, okay. Rust has regrouped with Misu, and I would love to see them go up there. Patriot, I don't think has comms with other guys. It's still a 1v1 fight. Paradise and Arcor could come over, uh, and Muniz could also come over. I think Nemesis died somewhere. Uh, possibly by a GL round, because I don't see what happened. Rust goes down. Oh, no, that from Nemesis. That was Nemesis who killed Rust. Oh, he did come around. Yeah, he was just off my screen. A good flank by Nemesis. Misu now coming up to try to kill Minis. I can't even pronounce these names. Munis. And but, yeah, Misu gets the down. shot and gets the double tap as well. So 1v1 trades. That's okay for Op4 to make. They have, like... What, 12 to 15 guys still on the field? Blue 4 is only down to like 6 or 7. I think Kiefer says well played. Moose. Well played. Oh, that's beautiful. And so, yeah, I mean, in the North Cache, I mean, we have uh, Misu and Robertson still, though. Patriot's uh, coming back up. He's popping smoke grenades. I think he's going to try to rush Robertson. I just saw Robertson load a grenade just case, but uh, Robertson throws a frag in response, but Patriot went back down. Oh, but he's not. Oh, get your head down. Oh, lucky bastard. Oh, some of... shrapnel takes him out. Like kill, kill. Not even a. Amazing. A that is. That was pure luck by Patriot because, uh, oh, Shotland, he had cover, but, wow. Misu's trying to get out of dodge. Yeah, yep, Misu's taking a Humvee. And that's, and that's I think what the best move that he can make at this point uh, yep. is to, at least deny that asset and reutilize it against Alphor. However, the BTR to the west on the hill, he should be able to see that if he turns the gun. We gotta consider the field of view for that turret is really low, but he might actually see but the Humvee pass by. He he's, should be driving into it soon, although no. I'm looking at the first person and no, mm -hmm. that Humvee's uh, staying out of view for that BTR. 
Uh, whatever the other BTR. Oh, sorry, no, that's Indigo and the. Uh, I think the yeah, the other BTR is the southeast. They're just trying to get a flank oh, on a three the complex. Engagement. Oh lord. Yeah. We have what five people in there now with Misu and the Humvee, and oh, this is just. Uh, what's I'm not gonna lie. This? It's honestly it's Blue Four has minutes. lost that advantage as soon as Blue Four lost that mat team it was all over in my honest opinion mm -hmm. uh because now We're, the BTRs can yeah no this is gonna be a quick first round definitely um yeah, like Misu almost armoring yeah. himself with that big <laughs> but <laughs> just luck of the draw I was expecting um Patriot to get schwacked by those three dudes, but they got tunnel vision. They didn't set up security and a combination of a rocket coming in to deter uh, distort them or whatever the frick uh, that allowed Patriot to come in and clean everything up. It was, it was pretty well done in my opinion, but that's kind of led the way for Op4 to just come in, brute force the rest, and yeah, I mean, the rest is just going to be history. Meanwhile, Shotland crawling up to this BTR. What is he gonna do? BTR now going mobile. They don't have third person cameras in, ve in vehicles. It is strictly mm -hmm. first person only. I think Shotland so, was gonna try to like demo it or something. Or maybe try and take the wheels off or something. I don't something think he has cheeky. The AP, so I, I like I don't yeah, think Yeah, his gun's not gonna anything. be able to penetrate it, but he he has a plan. He's going to do something. We don't know what. I don't know if he, he even knows what, but he's going to try something. Yeah, he's, he's only got the 7.62. I I don't know, but uh, we'll see it. Now, just as a reminder, he's not allowed to do anything super cheeky, like go under the Vic and shoot the people out like I do all the time in Liberation and Antistasi. So we'll have no, to he see. Can't, he can't sapper the vehicle. That's he can't true. sapper the vehicle. But yeah, no, the, the 80s, honestly, because of how many op four guys are still alive they're just like they're not being utilized effectively because there's just so many op four infantry left by the way may is the only um unconscious guy for op four i think nurse stabilized him before getting killed so he's still just bleeding out in a corner somewhere and no one knows where he is because his entire team's dead that's kind of funny have I believe that have they? Yes. Okay. Red Four did find the. Um, yes, they they were shooting at the cache a minute ago and got it deaded. So anyway, Shotland still chasing after this BTR, trying to see if he's been like discovered or not. But he's just he's just on foot at this point. No, he just yeah. went prone. Well, I'm not, I'm not I, sure I want to see do. what he tries to do. Because this BTR is literally none the wiser. I just wish that Blue 4 was more defensive with that Matt team. If they were just more patient with it, then those BTRs could have been schwacked, and then there would have been a, uh, you know, a different ratio here. But what is Sholin doing? I don't know. These two BTRs are getting a really good uh, pincer maneuver going on on the uh, southwest and southeastern flank, or really just eastern flank. But they... Um, There's a machine gun uh, with team these two here. BTRs, and... Maybe the 240 might be able to do something, but though that, that one BTR is... No, it's, up. it's not going to be able to do it. Hold up, we just heard a rocket come in. And that hit Ooh. Misu right in the face. Oh, no. that, that just hit his Humvee. I'm not taking any real damage on the Humvee. Yeah, no, it didn't. I think it hit the fence before it hit yeah. the uh, Humvee. Some nice spaced armor, unintentional spaced armor, but now Misu's Sholin making his move. Is he going to try to go in the front glass and shoot the driver out? Uh, well, problem with that is that his front glass isn't open. <laughs> and he realizes his mistake, and he goes and hides in the He was gonna run in and shoot the driver out! Oh, that's... That's a Chad move right there. He's gotta wait for the driver to open it again. But, I mean, if I was a driver, then yeah, I'd keep that damn thing closed till I needed to yeah, move again. Yeah, the viewports, yeah. That's the only oh, time I have seen those things be useful in any type of armor, but there you go. <laughs> BTR I, I if, viewports. Um, I wonder if he can get on top. Well, obviously not while it's moving, but I wonder if he can get on top. And shoot he won't be able to pen from the top. We saw that two weeks ago. Someone climbed on a BTR and tried to oh, mag right, them from right, the top, right. and it was not effective, even though he had like a PKM firing in, uh, which You're I believe does fire right. 762, but it's not going to be able to do that damage. So, yeah, I just I cannot believe there is a proper use for these damn viewports, and we've actually seen it. <laughs> properly thwarted a fucking sneaky comes, sniper uh oh here we're having an uh, infantry assault mountain yep. in the humvee with the humvee 
Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? I thought they were getting friendly fire for a second, but here they go. No, because you gotta remember, D3 and D2 are the machine gun teams part of Op4, and now they're oh, using their infantry team to come in. Oh, Pure Paradise gets taken down by T5 Bay. What a it's shot right there. Down. Misu the unfortunately angle. gets shot from across the, uh, no, inside the building. Uh, so, yeah, so far it's been a 1-1 one, one trade. A grenade Ooh. gets put perfectly though. I think that was that had to have been done by Bay. Yep. So Bay is now popping um, 40 Mike Mike down on that position. Definitely doing some damage. Patriot, meanwhile, flanking around. Uh, he uh, does have the marksman yeah. rifle. He also has an RPG. So he could do some damage. With but du Dooley up. might poke out and get him. Oh, and there oh, goes Patriot. No. Oh, there goes Mountain. T5 Bay hits Mountain. Yeah. So that's this assault is quickly withering we're standing T nemesis and arcor nemesis yep. again don't know who he is but he's been doing a lot of work <laughs> so far t5 bay you got to remember he's also one of the really strong players here so he himself can mm. stop a team if he's quick enough but sholand also is going to be forced to come in here he might actually go start hunting on the uh, mg teams i see him lining up shots on d3 that is also where platoon hq is but that could be really well done meanwhile pierce Coming in, putting some 14.5 millimeter in this cash building, trying to hit Olaf here. But it is four blue four players versus still a, about two squads worth of op four and their vehicles. Yeah, and blue four, I mean, they're down one, but with the numbers that they've taken down on op four, that's pretty good. They lost one blue four to three op four. It's a good trade, but they need to make even better trades to even this out. But one thing I do want to point out is op four does not specifically know where all the blue four positions are. Throughout this entire fight, we've been seeing D2, one of the machine gun teams, suppressing the complex building because that's where uh, T5 Bay and the rest of his forces were staged up recently, duly with that 240. Uh, so with that information, we know that Op4, not knowing where Blue4 is, is going to be a lot more cautious coming in here, which is why they still had so many support assets. But that's about to change as the D3 team starts coming in to reinforce the Op4 guys. So another wave of Op4 coming in, and we got to see now what happens, because those two BTR are still suppressing Blue4 positions, and Blue4 and does not have the AT to deal with it. Go ahead. Yes, and that one of those BTRs, uh, Lance Corporal Z Pierce, is uh, on the uh, eastern side of the compound. The B you should have gone with Olaf, who was actually hiding in the building with the cache, and mm -hmm. the BTR was, uh, I think, unintentionally just lighting up the cache with that 14.5. If he continues that suppressing fire, or he even recognizes it and just rolls up to the window, he could just blow it up himself. Mm -hmm. Arcor up with Dooley right now. Dooley did steal Patriot's RPG, has no idea Arcor's over there. Uh, Dooley doesn't want to fire right now. He will give his position away. Arcor will come out and tap him. Indigo Fox prone right nearby. But I can see what Dooley's trying to do. He's got that RPG. He's going to try to take out a BTR here. But we like he Arcor should be pulling back things. with comms with the other guys to take out that other BTR that's pushed up so far. Meanwhile, Ooh. T5 Bay taking out Arcor, giving his Beautiful. position away, though. Nemesis now looking up. Indigo Fox also close by that position. Uh, Indigo Fox, though, pushing up. Goes on the correct side of the building so he doesn't get shot. And I love how this and BTR is pushed up trying to kill Olaf oh, right here. Oh, no. Here we go. Indigo doesn't recognize that's a 240. He just pushes uh -oh. the building. Holy oh, crap. I don't... So the reason Indigo won that was if you looked at where Dooley was pointing his gun, his gun was pointing low to Indigo's feet. And I saw a few feet hits there, but Indigo was able to raise his weapon uh, yeah. higher and get the chest and torso hits without even going down. But you can yeah. see, uh, actually, his arms appear to be bleeding, but I saw his legs, too. So it's all he about a, a nice M203 to the face from T5 Bay, I'm pretty sure. But he's still up and. He's going he's gonna to get over to a different building before he bandages, I think. Cholin's still hunting this BTR, though. Holy crap. Nemes oh, Nemesis is um, parkouring up onto the building. Armas himself. Trying to get up to base position. We have Ooh. seen parkour done in the past uh, go really well. Indigo, meanwhile, going down to Jeffrey. Oh, Olaf no. going down to Pierce. And, and Pierce he's in striking range of the cash. Yep. Cholin and trying to get in the BTR, but unfortunately, there's still a dude. Oh, I thought I saw uh, the guy get out, but he switched the driver's oh, no. seat instead. No, oh, Pierce, I think, has armored himself. Oh, uh, no, he's... And he somehow the ended up on the roof and escaped Sholin. That is... That's some unintentional cheese right there, and then he falls off. 
I'm pretty sure he was trying to just hop out the window. Yeah, but in, uh, enhanced movement puts him on the roof. Also, T5 Bay just got smoked by the other BTR trying to come out and support. So it's just up to Jeffrey and Sholand here. But I think we all know how this is going to go. Yep, and I think uh, Nevis has got uh, murked by T5 Bay. So yeah. So Spire's still going into that building because they're afraid of T5 Bay, rightly so. Mm -hmm. But Jeffrey is still hiding in this building with a nice M4 block 2. All up is down, and Sholan has that uh, SI-25. Oh, I, I, he picks out the wrong corner. Yep. I have to admit, though, Blue 4, despite getting really badly screwed in the initial moments, has pulled up one hell of a fight that has forced Op 4 to pull all of its units off of Overwatch and into this area. But with that Absolutely. fresh wave of the other MG team coming in, Blue 4... I, I don't see them winning this. Um, there's just no AT down. The nah. the BTRs are literally playing cat and mouse right now. They, they, they are sharks and they smell the blood in the water. I'm yep. very surprised actually that uh, Pierce has, especially since they ID the cash, they haven't just rolled up to the window and like marked the window. But here we have two BTRs on either side of the building for the rim. Pierce is uh, Catch Jeffrey with that 14.5 millimeter. Through the wall, no less. Fourteen point five is designed to pen. It's it's a very oh, nasty yeah. round. But if Pierce's BTR were to pull back a little bit, they'd actually have an angle to engage the cash from the BTR. Pierce, for whatever reason, getting out to bandage himself. That's a really silly idea. Maybe he's doing a repair thing on the BTR. Because uh, why yeah, would you I bandage outside of it? But he, I think he, he got out to uh, breach, realized he was hurt, and then he yep. bandaged. But he's pushing so, it now. Sholin, he's got the 7.62. He has the deadlier caliber in the game. Uh, oh, but that's wow. As soon as he Unfo as yeah, that angle, was that was and bad. He goes out with a pistol, and he's getting out of there. But the no, BTR but the 14.5 shoots him through the window and takes him down. Meanwhile, Blake now using a captured 5.56 weapon to try to blow up the cache. Uh, all of Blue 4 is down. <laughs> if they get the double taps, it's gonna be GG. So who's gonna get the cat? Who's gonna win first? Blake with the cash or Pierce with the double taps? I think it's gonna be Pierce. No, Pierce misses the double tap. Oh, cause he's outside. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Sholin somehow getting outside. <laughs> it has left him to die slowly rather than quickly. But Sholin wakes back up. up. But I think that's too. Uh, no, nope, he's gonna run out. in there and try to kill people who are shooting at the cash. Gets his weapon out. Takes a few shots oh, and unfortunately gets get shot in the head as a BCR comes around. Oh! Doesn't even get one. And there are some celebratory smoke rounds. That was a very good last stand by Blue Four, but unfortunately, because of that loss of that Matt team in the beginning, it literally just set the stage for Op Four to come in with their assets and just annihilate everything. And that just goes to show you how the loss of one critical piece of the puzzle, one cog in the system, one super silly javelin boyo, can literally cost you the game. Very well played by Op Four. They had the upper hand that entire fight. Damn right. Uh, but here we're going to go into debrief for the first match and get into the second match. So let's hop up. Of course. What a Our shit show. The legend. <laughs> that was fun. Three teams. Let's get round two kicking off. <sighs> Are we switching teams? It's going to be a three way. Right Ooh la la. I'm going to take my leave. I'm feeling very sick. Oh, miss you. Have a good, have a good, good one, Ray. I hope you feel better. Bye. Alrighty. Switching sides also, for round two, I, we're the same I, on the same. It's uh, so it's a different mission altogether, so. Oh, it's all well. new. A different mission Blue altogether. Four comms. I just heard the panic of one by one, the, the slow descent into, oh, there's three of us left. Oh, well, there's two of us now. Just one. Don't feel bad. I was in Alpha 1, we got lit up as soon as we got there. <laughs> One well-placed charge killed all of us. Oh, no. there's, there's mm. no Quite possibly panic, like... the funniest thing I've ever done in this. There's no panic You're like not being able to hear your own team's comms. I literally... Let's I... get uh, groups all right. closer numbers. Yeah. Numbers. That's all good. I got my eyeballs to use. Combat yeah. engineer. Hell yeah. Alright, all right. let's cut the chat. Keep it uh, pertinent to the sliding from now on. So, let's get uh, DSC. Pick a team. Any team? 
since green is my favorite color. Okay, CSC is green. It, uh... There we go. 29th, you are... Well, 29th, were you blue or red last, last round? We were blue. Okay, go red, and then second, go blue. CSC, let's do four um, on each fire team for uh, Alpha. Which team is CSC joining again? Green. Green, got it. <sighs> hop into Alpha 2. Did you just tell me to hop into Alpha 2? Yeah. So, chat, what'd you think about that round? Oh, yeah, let's see on. I thought that was brutal. AA <laughs> hasn't been slotted yet. Thank you. Okay, AA. Uh, go blue. Who won? We did. <laughs> Red. Uh, Walt, take team lead alpha two. Wait, did you want me to go team lead for alpha two? I really kind of want to step back from t being TL and PL right now. Can I just help? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'll take it. Go ahead. And yeah, I'm not very Clarice. confident with TL, so. Could you take alpha two? Um. No, I'll take it if you want. I'll put your team leader. I've yeah, been commanding all day. I'll there as well, if you want. Well, yeah, go ahead. Uh, could I get uh, Morrison Dragon to squad medic? Uh, Alpha Blue 4, sorry. Matt, hop down to LAT and Alpha 2. Kiefer, if you want to take six. LAT and Alpha yeah. 1, that'd be awesome. Jack Jesse, thanks for the 13 month the resub. The Morrison Blue 4 squad medic. And Degs, yeah, thanks for the 15 month resub, by the way. I hope Night, you guys I keep enjoying the operations. Oh, and fine. I hope you get a kick right. out of tonight's Friday Let's Night get, Fights. Uh, uh, so, uh, everyone that has a Centaur tag, so Dooley, Night Elf, Snow Owl, Wiki, go slide up on green. Dooley's with the 29th. You just ignore the tag for now, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So not everyone, Mark. Can I get Matt moved down to LAT and Alpha 2, please? And Gagarin, do you want to take Alpha 2? Yeah, I'll do Thank you. Okay. Our Blake and Flanagan are Centaur as well, Martin. Yeah, yes. I'll, I'll slot you in a sec. Got it. Got Hang on, right, all Matt's going to take that slot. If you want, Morrison, we you split with Nutty Person. He's our dedicated medic, and we got him worked in our scheme. Can I get dead slotted into uh, t uh, Alpha 2? I'm sorry, it's uh, Maymar. I don't know how to pronounce Welsh. It's the dude with the Welsh name. Do we want to balance out these teams here? Hang on, hang on. He's above you, uh, Martin, and um, the role selector. Can I get him thrown into LAT Alpha 2, please? Yep. That haven't been slotted yet. Yep. Hold on. My medic. I'm sorry. Take your time. people were moving. One person on the dependent, and then four Thank for you. the remaining three. Okay, two for two, you are a red. Night all you can take LAT if you'd like. Well, thank you. Sorry, man, I thought Matt was gonna make it. It's gonna be like a 16 v 16 v 16. One RW, you're green. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gotta love these intermissions where we set up the next round. Organizing these is a gigantic challenge because you have to see and Blake, who from what group is blue. here, how many of them there are, and then you have to somehow organize them all into teams. Gorzuski, uh, with the mix of are, who's uh, shown up from what group, all the okay, single players that have higher. shown up. You just gotta throw everyone around. Is it possible to have uh, Flanagan come with me? Yep, that's fine. Yeah, if you got buddies, definitely take them with yeah, you. Flanagan, again, go Delta 4 missile specialist. Blue 4. Hey, uh, Blake, come Alpha 2 CE. Okay, one second. And anyone who hasn't been slotted yet, uh, just pick a slot. Wherever you want to go. Oh, I'm gonna oh, cool. try to be with my, my, my guy Flanagan, since he's new. Oh, okay, never mind. Take it. So let's see, Blue Four is taking a okay, mat team, even though there's lead. only transport picks. Got a platoon lead. Red Four does not have a platoon lead unless you want to lead it from the squad. Op that Four works. is going to take an MG team, okay, cool. and Independent is going to take All right, let's do it. Cosmonaut, two MGs, uh, one in the MG uh, team and one as a solo okay. guy. But we're going to see them move around I in a second. Can change my team really quick? Yes. Cosmo. All right. Um, 
I need three people to change their slots. Uh, Wheaton, take AR. Monty, get out of AR. Spidey Zack needs to be in AAR, and Monty needs to be in LAT. Alright, we're good. <laughs> so they're locking in a seconds. full squad and a map team. Hey, Patriot, 60 seconds. Interesting choice for this uh, map. We're good. Cool. Uh, Cosmo, do you want a platoon marksman? Patriot's gonna have two yes, MG teams. Good. Okay, cool. Alright, pushing it. And Martin's also gonna go for a uh, marksman in blue four. <clears throat> so this should be an interesting one. Uh, it's a yes, weird mix of units. Yes. An arma tradition. Wait, is it everyone stuck? <laughs> Yeah, it takes a while. Yeah, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. So, are you okay? I tell Martin. Yeah, so. Martin, what button yeah. are we uh, going tonight? So we'll get a rundown of what they're going to do for the mission. Uh, I don't know. I just picked a random and one And we'll I... see uh, what happens. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing but a hydrogen peroxide burn on your knee. Also, I will be doing first intermission. I'll Barbarian will be doing second intermission. No, no, thank you. A no, really you, big sir. fucking hole. <laughs> Coming right up. Oh, no, no, no. Close hole in the wall. I Play don't know, Stephonix. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's hard to set oh, these oh, up, yeah. sure, but harder than a daycare? Please. And again, some of the stuff you just heard kind of makes it does sound like a I get your stuff out and so doing that. Break, 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 guys. Break, break, break. So it's a three-way oh, terminal hack. I got hack. priority speaker, so when I start talking, it'll mute everyone else. Nice. So... I just give it a second to where uh, everyone can load in before I give a brief. All right, looks like we're good. Uh, this is a neutral objective. There are three terminals. This is the connection game mode type. Uh, the objective is to uh, hack each terminal and have it uploading uh, points for your team. Um, and then the first team to 100 points wins. Any questions? Mm. Single spawns? Taken? Uh, one life. There's always one life. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sometimes we've had multiple. Uh, lives. Unless it's mentioned, you can. It's safe to assume that. All right. And you're... Uh, since these are on the short line and right next to each other, are these spawns? Uh, are these That's spawns set up nicely or? Well, well, hopefully. Yeah, you can only really. Well, uh, how much do you trust your mission maker to set it up well? <laughs> well, I <laughs> That's... That's... Geometry, but I don't see how. Okay, don't trust question the it, just play it. Okay, any other questions? Yeah, these spawns are a bit biased, admittedly. Uh, it's an asterisk. In Op Force favor. Okay. All right, anyways, Ron, two, four gets starting cocked. now. Good luck, have fun. Gagrin trying to calculate the square root of. All right, we're going to go back into casting, and I'm going to give you guys a little treat. I don't know what he was trying to calculate. Who knows? So I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give the stream a little bit of a treat for the uh, first intermission. So uh, I I'm going to show off the spice and wolf sippy cup. Oh lord! All right, hold on. Let me pull up your stream because I want my stream to see this too. This is gonna be some bullshit. Also testing out a different mask here. So let's let's throw that up. Okay. So. All right, Barb. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, voice activation too, so you can hear this. Okay. Go for it, buddy. All right, there we go. So here's the deal, guys. This this is the Spice and Wolf sippy cup. It's a little hard because the uh, the light likes to get in on it, but hard. yeah. I mean, how do I how do I make that work? It's so difficult. Ah! because the lighting in this room but i mean it's just it's just a full round decal here and i i use it to drink and uh you know it's it looks like a mia from uh monster misume no iru nichijo okay did you I mean, try and drink through your mask well i'm not gonna pull it down that would defeat the purpose you know i mean i got i have an identity to hide because we have weird stalkers that do really weird things you know I like how you've transformed from an IRA terrorist to now a, the whitest ninja the world has ever seen. Thank you, I appreciate it. I can actually drink through this, it's pretty good. Yeah, I figured you could. What is that, like silk or, ah! or something? That didn't uh, work. I don't, I don't that didn't work. That, that, uh, that, that did not work. 
at all. Well, I tried. Um, so I'm actually, I might, um, I might do this round with the face cam. If that's what chat wants, that's what I'll do. But uh, fuck me, okay, fine. No, I don't want to fuck you. Not at all. Please. Maybe no. not on stream, but I got DMs, man. Well, I know that, but all right, let's, we'll just go ahead and hit that. But no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's save the changes. Okay, so. Stone, yes, the sippy cup, okay? I mean, it has the waifu on it, and it's hard to oh, see because, there we go, there we go. See, if I block the light, perfect, waifu. That's not blocking the light source at all. It's on the other side. Hey, of Barb, I know you can see my stream, so. Yes, I know, that's what I'm saying. Excellent. Um. All right, so um, with that all said and done, since uh, I have my monitor on here, my head's going to be turned so I can, you know, look at chat when I turn to the right i don't know i'm just trying to do that also i saw zeno jump in chat he's a good friend of mine from way back in the day also wearing the traditional green zeus robe that's how you have to zeus even though we're not zeus and we're doing some commentating but either way barb i'm gonna be perfectly honest with you these spawns seem a little biased to me okay yeah blue four is pretty fun blue, four, blue right? four's cocked yeah because they yeah, have to they have the river they have yeah they have two choke points cross. and those choke points can be locked down one by op four one by green four and it yeah like so i will say uh on the eastern side near terminal <sighs> three at by point seven the marker seven mm -hmm. that area seems shallow enough that they could drive through or could walk through without i've um anything, but... i've been through this river it is not a good idea to drive through it. there are some shallow spots sure but uh i i would not risk the uh vehicle engine no i i've, I've made a couple of ops on this map and especially mm -hmm. viewer jokey i love viewer jokey um and i love your lot in general but viewer jokey is just this great like organic city almost it just it's a very nice town of... It's a very, very nice town, but now when there's three different armies trying to fight over control in them, um, yeah, that river is really gonna fuck over Blue Four, and then Green Four is so far away. Red Four has that highway to really just yeet themselves up to Terminal One, um, and then from there they could probably just continue on to Terminal Two. And I believe it is gonna be similar to the point system that we saw a couple weeks ago, where um, the one the one with a map that had like weird ass render distance remember mm -hmm. where they have to get to 100 because otherwise i don't see how this would work out logistically but um good. we'll see i guess it could be anything um Oh, I will say good. Blue 4 does have the better vehicle, in my opinion, but if the config's been redone for everything, then uh, it's probably evened out, but I would trust this type of truck to drive through one of the shallow parts of the river, but uh, since they don't have the bird's eye vision that we do, finding those on the map beforehand is going to be nigh impossible. Uh, really, I can just see Blue 4 getting locked down really easily. The only saving grace there is is the objectives are uh further into the town to the south uh but i mean in terms of distances i i don't like it because op4 has access to an msr right off the bat and they're gonna get to terminal one first yeah. blue four also has access to that msr but if op4 is smart they, they can immediately river. put a team on the bridge and lock it down uh, I just, yeah, I don't like this. Between the two, there's a bit of distance between Terminal One and the bridge going through the center of Viewer Jokey. Um, but if they're able to do that and lock down that choke point, that is gonna be big. And those trucks that Blue Four have, they're not, they're not the armored ones. So mm -hmm. they, uh, even just an MMG team can really shut them down. Um, I, I don't know. It's, I, I think Red Force could just, I mean, even just looking at the map, Red Force is about. I'd say about a click away as a pro flies from Terminal 1. Green 4 is a, at least a click and a half away from Terminal 3, which is the nearest one. Terminal 2, that's a good two clicks. Yeah. That's just unfair for them. So I, I don't know. It's also weapon composition. I saw Blue 4 decided to take their mat team gunner and a marksman, which for this map is not going to do too well. Uh... Viral Lothi, it's very flat, 
and it has, you know, some decent roaming hills. There's a few spots where a Matt Team Gunner would be acceptable, and I can understand the logic behind that. But for this map, with how much CQC there is, I don't see that AT being anywhere effective, especially for Blue 4, because they have to get across the damn river first, and there's just no good Overwatch positions to put that AT. So I think that's just a little too far in the plan, and I would have rather seen them take an MG, you know? Yeah, so... And then Green 4 is just kind of budget Russians with... Uh, AKMs and 7.62 by 39 and not yeah. 545 AKs that uh, Red 4 has. Um, I mean, they, they're they going to be kitted out. They have, Green 4 does have, uh, I'm seeing uh, one, two, three uh, MMGs. And yeah, uh, Blue 4 yep. taking the mat team is kind of putting their points in the wrong skill tree. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, it, anti armor is great, but there's no armor. Uh, just having some laws and switching that javelin team out for another uh, M240 or even just an M249 would yep. probably be the better choice. But Do you know if know. those RPGs have more than one warhead or are they single shots? Uh, the RPG-7s so they yeah, have in the back? Yeah, that uh, Op4 have. They have, if I remember correctly from the last time I played, I don't think they've changed it since. They have one RPG-7VL, which is the improved heat, and then right. the uh, uh, PG-7... Or, the fucking tandem one so well doesn't that already give I, I hate to interrupt you but doesn't that already give the op four factions an advantage because if blue four only has sticks unless they have the setting where they can reload the stick but i haven't seen anyone do that no, op four that's literally a, a, a faction based advantage yeah so it's just pretty hard to work with blue four is really fucked here I'm, I'm going to be very yeah. surprised if they're able to take this because they're dealing with RPGs that are reloadable. Uh, Blue 4 also doesn't have any proper audio PID because Op 4 and Independent both have the same styles of guns. So they're not going to be able to tell whose faction is who. Meanwhile, I, I, if I Op 4... The, yep. I think the AKM and the AK-74 sound a little different, but... Uh, you I have to be to very specific, specifically yeah. trained on that, though. Otherwise, you're However, not going to know. I, I think I'd argue that the the problem with that lies more between Red Four and Green Four because Blue Four has the ability they can go oh that sounds like an AK that's not friendly and yeah. it doesn't matter which team it is they just know it's not friendly. I mean, when but if you're Blue if you're Four keeping decent Four, communication though, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, it's yeah, just okay, decent communication. All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> no one, it's an Arma thing. You have to have a little bit of good communication to get far a in these, but. Bit. You know, I'm not seeing have... any other AT on Blue 4, and it's kind of scaring me here. I mean, not that they're well, going to need it, but just in case there's a truck rush somewhere, which Blue 4 is going to have to employ. Yeah, and I, I, I don't, with the, as far as radio comms go, the way they have their Orbat set up is they, each squad has, a, you know, squad lead and a team lead, which are on squad net and I guess on command net as well. Yeah. But then they have two separate team nets, so it's like, they're already like pretty segmented or rather segregated as far as these nets and it's just i don't think i i personally don't think it's conducive to something like this where if you go down you could very well be dead and out of the fight and if you don't have that the proper orbat setup then you're going to be in the dark for a lot of it, but we'll see what happens. You got to also okay. consider that this is a one life operation and these terminals do take a lot of time to catch up to 100 points. So I could potentially see one of the teams hanging back, letting the other two teams duke it out and then coming in with their full force last second because there's only about like 16 to 18 guys on each team so that just makes every individual that much more valuable if i was in blue force shoes and i saw this spawn system i would let op4 and green4 duke it out i would set all of my guys up somewhere close to the town and i would just go for it or if anything i'd probably go all the way around because again there's no map range here it's infinite again i would go up yeah. to the bridge at uh my Lenamakai at 141150 where no one's gonna expect uh that way i'm not boggled down on a choke point because up four and green four if they don't see any blue four guys they might suspect something's up and send some recon guys on those choke points but i doubt they'd go all the way to that wooden bridge 
Uh, and then I will just take it from north to south, hitting Terminal 1 where Op 4 is going to be guarding, all the way to Terminal 3. Um, I would assume that they can see the point values of the terminals, though, so I would move by, like, 60 points, uh, Possibly. and then just commit to killing, you know? What I would love to see, I don't know if it's gonna happen, it's pretty unlikely, but I would what I would love to see is for Red 4 and Blue 4 to just run into each other on that MSR. They both go up to Million Mickey or whatever, yeah. to the north of all the terminals, tr each trying to do that plan. So Blue 4 trying to avoid the uh, fucking choke point of Viro Jokey, that bridge. Red 4 trying to utilize that choke mm -hmm. point and go around it. And the two of them just colliding head on with each other. And then Green 4 just comes in and steals the victory. Yeah, it, it it's a it's a possibility, probably very faint possibility, but I think it's a possibility. But we have uh, Red Four is ready to go. Um, let's see, Green Four is still loading up, but I think Blue Four is ready to go as well. Yeah, the two forces that actually matter are ready to go, and the the Freedom Fighters are still uh, bumbling around with their dicks in their asses. Sorry, on the advice of my audio guy, he says I should take the mask off. So. Oh yeah, no, it sounds awful. Going. It 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 sounds like you're. You, I I can't really hear you with a dick in your mouth, so I'm. I'm yeah, I, I pulled it away because I had to take the damn thing on. But you know, it's just an option you, if people you, you want it, off, we can you have turn it. Turn off your webcam, right? Of course, I turned the webcam off. Yeah, you've done dumber things. <laughs> like me. Yeah, hiring you was really dumb, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to deny it. You got to get advice from people. Excuse me. You got to get the permission from people before you take their clips, Barbarian. Can we not talk about that? That's okay. I forgive you. Um, the one time. But I know. Whatever. The one time it bites you in the ass, right? Not even the kinky way either. The really fucking bad t way. Yeah. I know. Bad touch. And no, Lira's not hiring. I'm the only editor. Ems doesn't exist either. Ems does like triple the work you do. Yeah, but he's discount me. It's like but great value. I don't know, he's getting better than you though. He's getting pretty good, yeah. <sighs> All right, otherwise, uh, one minute left. Some of the uh, independent guys <laughs> almost jumping the Ooh. gun there. They're loading up yeah. in all six trucks, really dividing their forces. Some in only like one or two groups. Uh, some even solo drive. Meanwhile, we see groups of five, four independent, op four, loading up in four vehicles. Uh, we Hudson's got Hudson's in his own truck. Hudson's in uh, his own. Indigo's with one guy, and Ramirez has the major group. How's Blue Four gonna stack? Blue Four taking only three. I I don't well, know how this is gonna go. I think all of them are gonna bum rush in, but in my opinion. There should be a little bit of tactics to consider, especially since some of these guys are veterans. They know how slow these terminals can be to collect points. I'd say if it's a triple threat, hang back, wait for them to kill each other, and then go in and sweep everything. That would be my personal opinion here. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why I want to see Red 4 and Blue 4 just collide right into each other. And here we go. Alright, mission starting. Blue 4 getting underway, looking on the map. Op 4 is also underway. Independent also underway. Uh, if Blue 4 and Op 4 meet on that MSR, it's going to be devastating for both. And then I predict Green 4 is going to be able to sweep it through with that added manpower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to also be curious to see how many left turns Blue 4 takes here to diversify their units. Op 4, Hudson taking a wide left. He's going to go on the far bridge. What? Yeah, he's going. He's no, going he just made a dirt. Of, Where oh, is he going? The, where is he going? What the fuck? Interesting yeah, call right there. Blue four oh, now oh. also heading south. Oh no! There's a crash. Red four crash. Red four has a truck. You're taken kidding out me. Indigo Fox's truck is taken out. Indigo Fox is okay. Arcor is knocked out. No, I think he's okay as well. But that truck is dead. Proper convoy spacing. That's gonna cost Op for those two guys wherever they were gonna go. Indigo is wounded. Arcor's also <laughs> bandaging. Wasn't even going back for them either. Yeah, yeah. that. Oh, no, I that hope they the weren't control. crucial in going to Terminal Two or Three because that just oh, cost Op Blue for Force, that Force, movement. Um, I. Ooh, let's see what they do. Oh no, Mannerheim. Don't do it. 
Don't try it. They, okay. I, they're gonna try to cross with the Vix. I, I gotta give them credit here, though. Uh, there are some spots they could go for. It. No, they're gonna dismount. Yeah, they're gonna uh, just go across on foot. They're gonna try to go for Terminal 3, so I appreciate the oddball tactic here, but that's quite a risk because Independent's gonna get there first. Again, Blue 4 just got screwed on this map placement, in my opinion. Also, looks like Hudson picked up Arcor and the other guy, and they're gonna set up at Terminal 1. Meanwhile, Green 4, they've been <clears throat> able to go in unopposed. They already have guys at Terminal 3, and they're approaching Terminal 2 quick. Yep, Green 4 also deploying a squad in between Terminal 2 and 3, possibly to use as QRF. Two other guys dismounted, also gonna group up with them. Uh, and it's only Pierce going to Terminal 2. I guess he's going for a fast cap. Yeah, um, Terminal 1 connected to Op 4. Uh, oh, and we're getting point markers on the right side of our screen now. That's nice. That's an improvement. Yep. Uh, we'll see so, how well that, <laughs> if that continues to work, but... Um, yeah, Blue 4 is now pretty well cocked, uh, not just because of positioning, but now because they've ditched their trucks, they're on foot. I, I see Op 4 winning this because Blue 4 is going to fight with Independent. That's going to cause Independent to commit forces yeah. Yeah. from their QRF. I think they're taking that QRF force. They're going to do a wide left flank possibly to Terminal 1. Uh, but it's going to be Blue 4 and Independent draining oh, forces. Already Wiki firing at Blue 4. Uh, and then Op4 is just going to have the manpower to basically send things down. Meanwhile, Hudson, Hudson was actually sent up to go to the wooden bridge I talked about. Interesting. So if they had my plan, Hudson would have been able to counter it. But, you know, it would just have been a waiting game and they would have eventually pulled Hudson back. So this is kind of a misplay uh, in a certain way. Pierce goes up. Fast caps Terminal 2, and now he's on his way back. Terminal 2 has no in for personnel within 300, 400 meters. We well, gotta and think about it, like, where, what would Independent do with that? You know, they have Blue 4 on them, they don't know where the dichotomy of units are. I think just going up, crapping that terminal to get an extra few points is a good call there, but Op 4 already sending guys to the south. Uh, is going to eventually take it out, but they're going to do it cautiously because they don't know what's over there. And honestly, I think that's a really good call right there because you also have Independent with a large force sneaking around possibly to get up to Terminal 1. And, you know, Op 4 is none the wiser because they don't know Blue Force committed its entire force to the south. Independent doesn't know Blue Force committed its entire force to the south. So, I don't know. This, this is just a very interesting dichotomy. Uh, and that's mm -hmm. what you mm -hmm. get with three-way fights. Meanwhile, Wiki oh, getting first Wiki. blood, killing a blue four guy. Getting an even kill right there. There's no trade. No, He's going to be able to that displace. Was alpha lead. That was oh. alpha lead that he killed. But oh, Wiki Lord. just died. All right, so there was a trade oh, well. right there. But um, kind of an uneven trade, but we'll see. Yeah, well, I mean, what would you rather have, a medic or a, a leader? True, that's true, true. That's that's actually a really good question because, you know, medics can bring people back up, but the leader is the center of communications, especially with that long range. Uh, so I, that's just really going to depend how professional your players are. But I think I'd rather have the medic than the squad lead because at least he can bring people back. Because if you remember last round, Op4 had a guy who spent most of that op unconscious because mm -hmm. he himself was the medic and no one was able to administer medical to him. And we're seeing something interesting here from Red 4. Obviously, they're thinking Terminal 2 is pretty well garrisoned, so they're mounting, they're, they're staging here um, north of it by a few hundred meters, peeking around, seeing what they can see through the trees, but fake foliage and some additional uh, barricades around the objective itself mean that Red 4, they don't know if they see anything, which is key here. Uh, that fake out is going to be for, really yeah. good for Green 4, though, because if Op 4 doesn't see anything, they're just going to think Independent's more hidden, and they're just going to be ex mm -hmm. extremely more cautious with it. Meanwhile, this is actually proving to be a really weird play here, because Independent have half their force defending 3, and a strike team nearby 2 trying to go up to 1. Op 4 has all of their units on 1. So this is just turning into Blue 4 is going to take out half of Independent, Op 4 is going to have to deal with the other half of Independent, and it might become an even fight by the end of it. Between you know, Op 4 and Independent, or Op 4 and Blue 4. 
Yeah, so did you ever uh, play a um, the Arma 2 game mode where it was like you started with the headquarters, Op 4 started with the headquarters, and you had to fight an independent faction in the middle to capture points to get resources to build up your faction? No, but it sounds great. Yeah, so that's what I'm kind of getting reminded of in the sense that both sides are going to have to fight through independent before they start fighting through each other. <laughs> but Blue 4 oh. also has some units set up to start engaging each other here. Oh, we have Montgomery here. He's, he's seeing or hearing Koak's truck. He's lighting it up. Uh, yeah. Koak is trying to get the fuck out of there now, but that means that uh, Blue 4 has made their position known mm -hmm. very close to Terminal 3. And we have that second squad of, of uh, Blue 4 up by Terminal 2. Yep. So, oh, this could be this is very interesting, honestly. Blue 4's Martin gotten some elevation top. here. Martin's back at the hospital with um, the SR-25. He's keeping his eyes trained on terminal, uh, terminal 3 down here. Montgomery rushing in. Gonna catch Snow out of position, but is unable to get a kill. Pierce returning oh, fire gets two hits. Wow. Norse now might come around. Oh, yeah, gets Montgomery on the reload. And oh, they nice trade, trade, but Norse is uh, down. Mannerheim, though, rushing up as well. Uh, also, Pierce now running over. These guys might be able to get medical attention to Norse. I'll be curious to see what Mannerheim does. Oh, and Snow almost gets blue on blue by Victor. Mannerheim gets a good grenade throw in the top floor, though. Knocks Cord down. It's probably going to wake up from Mannerheim. that, though. Oh, uh, but not that one. Well, maybe that one. But second nade was also... Another grenade good. went in, yep. Uh... Muniz spotted him though. Cord waking up, going back unconscious again. Cyrus down as he tried to sneak around on the back. So Blue Four only committing a few units here. Night Owl is rushing on his own though. Oh he could God. run into Blue Four forces. But yeah, yeah Blue Four. Also one of the veterans who loves to throw wrenches into plans. Hold on, hold person. on, hold on. Independent are calling that attack force back. They're gonna go all in for Terminal Three. Oh, Night Owl, no. He gets a nade up, I think. No, I don't think he, he did. He threw yep. he started to throw it, but it just didn't go. He was caught in the and open, so. but Blue Four could take that mm -hmm. RPG. That could be really useful. But yeah, I'm really curious to see Independent pulling this force back as uh, Blue Four. They're not really unified here. They're just kind of split apart, sending in teams at a time. And that's letting the defensive side here get a lot done. Yeah, I want to say that Mannerheim Morrison. and I already forgot who the other Blue Four guy was, but I think they might have gone in under their own volition. Uh, with some assistance from Morrison now and maybe 90 person in Cosmonaut, but they kind of went rogue. Morrison now going down and uh, yep, he uh, he had dead. the low ground, so Munoz was well. able to get shots. Uh, yep, Cord is down, and I think there was another person in there as Mountain, Boston, and Pads. They're pushing into that same compound, and uh, we're this is gonna be interesting. This little firefight. Mannerheim's doing some work too with that M203, suppressing Stauffenberger, Patriot, and Victor, and they. I don't know if they know uh, or are unaware of where he is, or if he's just doing very good suppressing fire. Oh, but as I say, Patriot takes him down, and uh, now the Boston. LD thanks to Twitch um, Prime sub. Hope you keep enjoying the ops. Hope you get a kick out tonight's Friday night fight. Team lead. But, um, this. Uh, this it's, might be this might bite them in the ass a little bit this formation's really confusing because blue four went all in on an objective but now they still have a lot of units just doing like stagnant overwatch when they need to be committing because as soon as this independent qrf comes in i don't see blue four getting an advantage here it's also interesting to see how op four has stopped yeah, a block yeah. away still considering where independent forces are and not a single person has gone in to see what's going on that's really curious but we might see blue four get two people in to terminal two and actually take it but as soon as that happens never gets the pop-up i see op four sending in a large force to deal with it meanwhile snow getting shot in the bat uh the pass by uh boston and pads and again we're just gonna see blue four units Ooh. trickle into this ao boston's getting lit up and pierce is in the building next to them they, he's hearing the shots but i don't know if pierce can really do much about it yeah snow's getting uh double tab there's a lot of blood right by his body but Norse is He's gonna need a medic. what he can. Whoops, Hold up, whoops. Norse just put what? a grenadier round up in Pierce's building. Unfortunately, uh, it went, went over. over. Went way over, but oh, now and, he's Oh, correct. one and right in the pads. Oh, pads. Direct hit. Face. Oh, Lord. And it's funny to see, yeah, Terminal 2, <laughs> there is no green for anywhere near it, but neither team has the balls to try and assault it. 
which is incredible. Not what I would have thought. The fake out. I mean, you, if you always keep your enemies guessing, I've seen a lot of people, they'll go in with the defensive garrison and hold it, but this one fake out is going to give independent the advantage because they're already at 41 points almost halfway there meanwhile mm -hmm. the other blue four guy boston got killed but pads woke back up victor's gonna come in and possibly go for the kill but they hear one of their gas is spooling up that's gonna be interesting to see what green ford does about that but then again they might just think it's friendly and not do anything with it yeah and we have pierce now who was that uh who led that kind of diversion uh he's back now trying to flank around this blue four ingress route um but i'm interested to see what happens with victor and pads right now hold up look at mount mount moving up running right up to strat strat goes oh. down but pierce uh there excuse me there was a little bit of lag and unfortunately blue four guy goes down green four guy still saveable yep, yep. and that uh that was strat and tanko who was alpha uh, squad lead so yep. but he's gonna be able to get back up i think victor and, also coming uh, in killing pad just did a victory yeah, circle yeah. 360 victory 720 whatever circle uh, oh you you son of a bitch no yeah, you bad it. bad puns oh. meanwhile pierce, independent no. are pierce, i'm sorry what? pierce has now gotten behind uh cosmod who is Blue Force Platoon Lady. I don't know if he knows. He might be able to hear local comms and know that this is the building with him in it. He's acting like it is. I'm going to be watching him as he reaches this building. He sees Logan. Logan. He runs out of ammo. Pierce. Pierce. You didn't check your mag. And so Meanwhile, that, that's... Martin came up. Uh, unfortunately, died to Munnes as Munnes was trying to bench. Martin woke back up, though, and hits Munnes that time. Might get two Ooh. double taps. But that M203, that's a, that was a friendly Grenadier round from Cosmonaut yep. into Martin. Martin is but... the blue for uh, Marksman, so he's going to double tap both of these oh. guys. That's why you always got to double tap because your buddy might wake up. Meanwhile, I think you mentioned Logan, my man, was able to save blue for there and mm -hmm. unfortunately Whoa. fight back Pierce. Yeah, Pierce got uh, survived, but look uh, more to the he's south. We have up. a nemesis now who's flanking the blue for flank from Cyrus and Wheaton. Nemesis is behind those two, and he's pushing up now. Where's and Nemesis? He's submitting. He's submitting. Oh, yep, yep, I see him. Finn is farther oh. behind. Nemesis, oh, unfortunately, caught out of position. Nemesis. Gunned down by Wheaton. Oh, hey, that's hey, got to suck. Yeah, he was fighting a 2 4 9. He didn't really have much no. of a chance on a direct yeah. fight. Yes. Nemesis was a medic. <laughs> oh. He was a medic on a flank, but then again, you know, the numbers are so black, but. Gore's now suppressing that position. Uh, I thought there was another blue four guy there too, but um, Marv uh, was able to get the kill. So the guy that got yeah, Nemesis gets traded. There. But now blue yeah. four committing even more units in. I really don't get blue four strategy. They went all in on a single position and then gave it up. Meanwhile, op four making their assault yeah. on position two, realizing that the bluff is up. Two blue four guys still right there, but they're going to be able to capture this compound. Oh I bet no, Herb, Herb can't get to the bush. He finally gets through <laughs> it, but there's a bush right in the way, but yeah, yeah Dooley, Herb, and Bay all going in here, and they're like, they ain't, we ain't found shit, man. Yeah. This I, I find that hilarious crazy. that a bluff was able to last that long. But now with Op4 literally at full strength, only a few blue four guys between them and the other position. Blue four still fighting with independent as well. I think this is going to be a clear Op4 victory by the end of this, unless we see mm. some crazy I, stuff happen. I don't think Op4, a, apart from that, that crash, which didn't kill anyone, there's been no casualties even on op Four side. They've just been yep. going through. And yeah, there goes Terminal 2. Well, so to clarify, oh, by the way, Blake, uh, who is the Matt Gunner, he's using his Titan as a thermal camera, but a little bit of education, uh, Barbarian. Oh, there have been uh, two I'm casualties sorry, on Op 4. I think what? he's using it as more than a camera. It looks like oh he, my he's God. trying to... He might be trying oh. to do... A, yeah, yeah. He might try to get if a hit. If he fucks up his position, though... Yeah, he know, might hit ahead. the ledge. But a little yeah, bit of a uh, thing right now. Casualty means someone gets wounded. A KIA would be a kill. So there have been some no. casualties for uh, Op 4, you, but no KIAs. Yeah, that, that's what I said, except for the for the gotcha, crash. Gotcha, gotcha. But, but um, I agree. Uh, Blake's getting suppressed, though. He's not going to be able to get that off. <laughs> if he hit Ramirez with a javelin, that'd just be... Well, crazy. he's not going to be able to get the hit with the javelin because they can just go in the building, and the javelin would then hit the upper side of the window before making contact, so... Not as um, useful as we would think. I'm... Um, okay, I'm trying to do some napkin math in my head. It's never good. Especially when you're a few beers deep, but 
Um, so, I by the way, Pierce getting killed, he was able to get a shot on Nutty Person, but Cosmonaut was able to get him wounded. Martin also delivering some shots here. Uh, Grenade also going in that building. I'm not sure if Pierce will wake back up. So here's the thing right now. I, I've just confirmed my napkin map. If Green 4 does not go back and recapture Terminal 2, which I don't think will be possible, no. Alpha is going to win this, mm -hmm. just based on numbers. Because uh, if, if Alpha 4 had been a couple minutes later, Green 4 would have been able to ride out the victory with back one up. Terminal. But because uh, Alpha 4 got in just in the nick of time, they, they, they're going to hold it. Matt so Mako gonna, shooting Cosmonaut that. on the Blue 4 versus Independent fight. I'm going to be curious to see what these two Blue 4 guys do because Carlson's right up next to him. But Nutty wakes back up, I think. And yeah, eventually. Them. Yep, yep. So uh, he's been shooting at Matico up there, but he's... Oh! Oh, the grenade, oh, the grenade goes way over. That was an unlucky bounce from a Matt. A beautiful so headshot, though, by Nutty. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's give him a warm up. Another grenade goes off, but it's around the corner. It's going to be ineffective against Nutty. But, Blue yeah, Force down I'm, to seven mm. dudes. I mean, I, I don't blame them for it because their positioning was pretty bad. Blake, meanwhile, moving up with Flagon just as Carlson's running away and because the building's in the way, they're not going to be able to see each other. Oh, Lord, not this Carlson deciding to turn back around, though. I think he might have heard a voice or something because he's pushing around the back. Blake is now, oh, my God. No, someone had to have heard someone else's footsteps by now. Yeah, Blake's being super cautious about it. Carlson put Carlson's a putting a satchel down, but Blake's going to shoot him in the oh, ass. <laughs> no. He's, he's going to want to double tap, though. Cause yeah, because Carlson could. Up, yeah, he's going to death that charge. and uh, As soon as he wakes up. So looking back, Blue Force sending Infidel and Dean down. Logan squaring out with some medics on the right. Martin still getting some shots in on the main compound. Yeah, I mean, with the numbers, Green Force should win this engagement, but the damage has been done between Alpha and Blue Force. What I wanted to see between... Hold up, real Alpha quick, real quick. Blake just got a shot on Olaf and actually got a headshot and killed him. So Blue Force oh, so far nice. getting two kills. I guess one kill and one casualty, but I don't think Carlson's going to wake back up. Just too much mag dumping yeah, when that... Yeah, looking at that blood near him, just oof. Nutty so person Flanagan. also down again. Oh, Flanagan runs away and leaves his buddy Blake to die. That leaves oh. the javelin to uh, fall into... Well, the, the javelin's not really useful here, true, again. True, true. Just but Apart from the thermal, but yeah. either way. T5 Bay and Jeffrey running up again. T5, one of the better players here. Gets a single shot! on flagon and literally ends his life goes for the Poor double tap too but he was already dead oh, hot Lord. damn yeah. independent uh still duking it out with four guys remaining on blue four uh martin's trying to drag uh nutty back but at this rate op four is going to overtake independent in terms of points because that two to three ratio and then independent is going to have to I... launch a desperate offensive but i don't think it's going to play unless they maybe Me get either. in the gas and go for terminal one because terminal one is pretty lightly defended the area itself isn't That's defended but it could work. We've seen crazier things happen. What yeah, oh, definitely. I'd love to see is Blue Four and Green Four recognize their situation and go, hold on. They're not going to ally. They're not going to ally. I know, I know they won't, but I want it to happen so bad. They, they're consolidating, though. Blue Four is 80% um, of Blue Four is in one building now, trying to get Nutty Person back up yep. as Logan, our uh, main man of the hour. And what hour? Every hour. Um, he's often doing his own thing as usual, but Red 4, I mean, they're just digging in. Um, Carlson just bled out after an RPG was yeah. shot at his building. I, uh, I, they I, still I, thinking I, there are more Blue 4 guys up there or something. I don't know. I saw, I heard the explosion. I was like, what the fuck was that? But no, um, Red 4 is just going to be able to dig in, and they have no tactical reason to go forward and try and take terminal three unless they really want to secure yeah exactly what's that if they're able to you know put do some basic algebra uh mm -hmm. then they should be able to recognize that they can just hold unless so, my math is wrong but i don't mm -hmm. think it is so what's that point out a great point uh where indigo and arcor are terminal one the high rise being a really good defensive spot that pretty much overwatch is terminal one meanwhile hudson is running to the other high rise building they're just going to play it defensive with these uh large office buildings but i i don't think they're going to get harassed anytime soon 
Uh, yeah. Basically, by the time Independent deals with Blue 4 and makes the plan and starts moving to a terminal, I think Op 4 is just going to win based off of principle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I said in the beginning, the spawns favored Op 4, and I'm, I'm just not surprised that they won. Even though they oofed a Vic because of bad spacing, uh, just because they had the MSR right on their spawn, they were able to just zip up to Terminal 1 and quickly take that and just, yeah. I, I just don't think this was that much of a fair fight. It really wasn't between... I mean, I... I'm. Hold up, hold up. I, I'm going to stand corrected here. Independent, I guess, seeing that they need to do something is sending six dudes in that gas that was captured and recaptured. No, it's a different gas. No, uh, no, they're going to... I don't... They're going directly up there, though. What they should be doing is going for Terminal 1, expecting that Terminal 2 is going to be heavily guarded by the Russian front line. So they might uh, get let's spotted. Let's go. Yeah. He should just keep heading west. If he turns right, ooh, this is going to get dirty. Is he going to go off-road? Nah, he's turning more north. He's following the road. He's going to run right into Kernshaw. Yeah. Kernshaw, just a rifleman, but even just he a He could get oh, some licks in, him. though. He sees that truck. He's pulling back. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Come on. I was about on. to say, are they going to dismount right there? Kernshaw losing an ability to get some easy headshots. Ah. Oh. GP25 goes off, but I don't think it was at the truck. And yeah, yeah no, but they're change, bypassing. Though. They're going to go up to Terminal 1. I'm going to be curious to see how Op4 deals with that. We see T5 Bay already running to that flank. Uh, but yeah, they're going to go for a Terminal 1 rush. Uh, uh, and Indigo, though, they're still looking east. They're not, they, board has not gotten to them yet. We'll see if it does, but... Um, yeah, Shadow Tanko, they're gonna, it looks like they're going to be coming in directly from the north of the earth. Okay, so if they're not familiar with, with uh, Vera Lottie, or specifically the city, they're going to go straight for Terminal 1 and not even know. That Hold the, up, Gaz just went off road. Thing. It is dismounting on the southeastern okay. side. That's going to put them very close to the high rise, but. Honestly, that high rise does not have good eyes on that area until they hit the intersection. There's so much foliage. There's so, so much foliage. I, I mean, they could poke up, but I mean, seeing up on that high rise is also really difficult. We have Indigo Fox also turning around. He's looking at the vector. He honestly needs oh to my look. God. Oh my God. Look back at Terminal 1 or Terminal 3. Holy crap. Martin, Martin's Martin, rushed it. Martin is going to ruin this whole plan. There we go. Martin ran up, captured it. Logan, meanwhile, got gunned down by Pierce. Martin now fighting for his life. Oh, Martin, he needs to get those doors you fucking, shut. Fucking fiend. And now NATO is on the board. Holy shit. You gotta be kidding me. They need to get grenades into where Martin's position is. Patriot tried to throw a grenade through a window, unfortunately, didn't get it through. And there's the grenade yeah, round there's by Patriot, oh, and that Patriot knocked Martin down. out. Yep. But uh, now Patriot has to go up and secure that terminal, uh, terminal three, and it's. Uh, this is still this is... a four v two, but anything can happen. Victor wakes green back four. up though. Indigo gets double tap. Green four guys. Indigo has spotted green four guys to the north of his position. No, he hasn't. Excuse me. By the way, one of the other blue four guys went down. It is now up to Idine. I doubt Martin or Martin might wake back up because that was a GP twenty five oh, round. No. Logan's not gonna wake up. Finn opens fire on Indigo Fox and Arcor, and it. Why are they holding fire? There goes Arcor. There he goes. Uh, yeah. Marvin. Yeah. But Stratodanko now needs to get in that building. No, he goes down by blind suppression. Finn now lining up a Beautiful. shot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can't seem oh, to get the hit. Finn. Arcor pulls back. Finn, come on, you're better than them. Oh, but he's he's gonna go up and try and hard read you, but he's gonna get fucked in that ladder if he tries. Yeah, cause they're gonna hear him coming up. Arcor oh. taking some shots uh, by Nurisk. Again, a really good player here. But right, they, there we go. That's... those GP25s and machine gun rounds, they're going to be able to halt the process. Carpenter needs to get in there and take the terminal. But oh, Voss is right here, ready oh, to clean no. things up. Voss is here Carpenter not look, looking at that direction. This is going to be an easy map. tap. Check your map. Even if it's not, Red 4 has already sent in a QRF. Voss doesn't they even see clear. Carpenter. Nope, there it is. Spray to his face. Is. Ouch. This is going to be an op for victory, yep. Independent have recaptured that terminal. Dean's still right there. It is a 1v3 on the southern side, but op for has overtaken Independent in terms of points. I, yeah, this is, this is it. 
Five independent guys left, one blue four guy left, and pretty much all of op four minus, I think, one or two people. Yeah, and they have two terminal. <coughs> Fucking voice crack. Dean just came uh, up, killed one of the independent guys to the south. He's now made it a 1v2, shooting up to Norse. Both of them missed their shots. Dean running around on the flank. Norse just saw him. Dean ooh, gets the kill. It is now Dean versus Patriot. Dean could keep the dream up for independent. The Dean dream. Don't let the Dean die out. Nah, I mean, this is this is very clearly done. Um, Greenfoot was not able to, to successfully get a uh, capture on Terminal 1. Blue 4. Quick thing to note, T5 Bay, Jeffrey doing a wide left flank to try to collapse that uh, independent position that was shooting up at the high rise. But Arcor now shooting down. Gets Nursk. It's just the power of that high rise. Again, the fact that those are right next to Op 4's position, it just such bias to Op 4. Yeah. Just, I don't know. But yeah, now Terminal 3 is one on one with Patriot and Dean. But um, in another probably minute or two, we're, we're going to see an Op 4 victory just off the points. Yep. Uh, Bay and Jeffrey climbing up the Hesco. Uh, they know that Crafer's pinned down, so he's going up to the uh, top floor. Bay's gonna come in Ooh, and gets mowed down because Crafer has a two four nine. Also, it's funny that yeah. Bay took the um the javelin. Yeah, the javelin in a Western grenade gets Western. thrown oh, in. Crafer somehow getting the shot, but is the grenade gonna go off? It does, but Jeffrey is only wounded. He gets the double tap, and that is independent down on the north now. It is down to the 1v1. Dean versus Patriots. It is a green four terminal, but can Dean change that? Patriot running out in the open. Dean possibly siding Patriot there. No, he's going to go for the terminal, but Patriot might be able to turn the building. He does he's not. For the perimeter. He went, oh, oh my God. He was looking left. Did he not see him? He was. Uh, his head was turned left. Dean's got to go for the terminal capture, even though it doesn't mean anything. Come on. Patriot instead yeah, going for the has. gas. I, I, Dean oh, hearing that gas, he's going to run for it. Throws a grenade, but it's going to be short. Good throw, whoa. but the Vic's already leaving. And Patriot, he's just getting out there with his life. He sees the scoreboard. He knows that's not going to be a thing. It ain't, it, it ain't a possibility at this point. Unless he's trying to go for like a last-ditch effort for Terminal 2. But I would just bonsai that bitch. Yeah, me too, but I, I, even if he's able to beat John Wick, he has, two guys on he has like 45 off. seconds based off of Maybe. points. But then Dean's going to come back and he's going to recap it for NATO. And it's going to be one to one even. Oh, I mean, oh, Patriot. He hits the he hits the patio and completely stops. He's got him. no, he's got like 15 seconds till the next tick. Machine gun now firing on Patriot and Blue Four takes the terminal. <laughs> Yeah, Martin did it. He was completely uncontested. Or, sorry, Ideen. Ideen was. Uh, Dooley looking the exact and... opposite way. He needs to pull that tandem warhead out. Doesn't hit the driver's seat, though. Patriot's going to go out and mag him. Get Dooley, get Dooley, come on. Look at this 1v1. Patriot wow, running out of ammo, shot. switching to his handgun. Dooley switching to his handgun. And Dooley wins the firefight and thus the match. And there's the double tap, except he didn't get the double tap. And like wow, 15 tap. Oh my what God. an end. Blue four got cocked, up four had an easy victory and independent was oh so close. Lord. All right, let's go out to the fucking, let's go get T brief. Holy shit. Intermission. Later, gonna be later, blue four versus independent. Plan. On Takistan. Uh, that's why I don't like three ways. Somebody and always gets left out. Blue four gets <laughs> a get little bird. Ooh. Is that no. it, or are we doing another round? Nope. One more. Oh, I need to get back in. Two of three. I feel bad for Op four. They didn't get any action there at all. Not even a reach around. False. Still plenty. <laughs> always give them a reach around. <laughs> uh, that's what we expect. So, what'd you guys think of that round? Personally, I to be fair, there was nothing stopping Op4 from fighting. They I was a little disappointed the with the map design. Um, oh, we that, did fight. 
was pretty predictable <laughs> because of where Op4 was, was. But there were still some our... really good plays between Blue 4 and Independent. Blue 4 did the best they it. could, but at the same time, they should not have just right, sent in teams at a three. time. Are they should have done a full-on attack to overpower Independent, especially guys, since Independent uh, had their forces uh, divided and okay, had to bring them in to reinforce that position. Go attack. Next pay for pain is going to be later this month for the 700th. And then uh, now we're going to see how you guys, uh, these guys divide here on the first mission. We defended. Defended. Okay, go blue. And then uh, CSC, one RW, AA. GT, thanks for the twenty-seven month resub. Thank you for everything, man. Uh, hope you're staying safe, month covered. Hope you're enjoying yeah, the content. Pretty much hope anyone you're enjoying tonight's Friday night slotted fights. yet, uh, and who has a tag in the uh, team speak, go slide on. Uh, Green, Centaur, and solo players don't slot yet. Does the, um, does the math team have AA? It's it's a javelin, so it can lock on to air as well as ground. 29 slot up. Alright. Yeah, it was still fun. It's always fun when you can shoot each other, right? <laughs> So, Independence Commander is going to be Pierce, Blue Force Commander is going to be Cap Drake. I have not seen that name command yet. That should be good. Uh, I'm going to go P. And the oh, players want pictures of my feet. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, Pierce. That's yeah, weird. You're, you're a happy person today. I, I, I took the tune. I took the tune. That's why I let everyone know. Otherwise, okay. I wouldn't. Yeah. But yeah, this will be the third round, third and final round, and I hope we see something close. Because first round was well, pretty much a stomp like, uh, after that mat team uh, was lost. Two, Second three. round was predictable. Third round, I want to okay. see a real fight Anyone for this one. Centaur tag and team speak go slot up on blue. So blue four getting two Humvees and a little and, bird. Uh, Independent getting two Blake, two four nine jeeps uh, and Boston, statics. If you're still here. Go blue. Independent really needs to take their mat team for this one. Hey, uh, Martin, I'm with to be AA, some uh, pseudo oh, AA right, as well. Sorry. We already see Victor Reznov slotting up on that. Centaur. Great. <laughs> Uh, Marksman also being taken by Stathenberg, Blue Four getting Rust as their Marksman, I still got my team and they're in. also getting Flaganog for oh. their AT for oh, uh, hitting here. those independent Kiss technical jeeps. Uh, those are going to be the um, the four man, the four wheel um, little cars that you see the syndicate use pissed. with the two uh the mini right. mounted on then top let's get uh, that's what i'm willing to bet though well, it looks like we're pretty good anyone different. who hasn't slotted yet uh, any it's a very open vehicle that you can easily get shot you out of. I'm on team there's not even probably, glass to please. protect you need Mannerheim slotted need wheaton slotted in the uh lat did we lose cyrus yes the Wheaton LAT that I heard. Yeah. Feet pics. He'll be selling his bathwater next. God damn it. Are we, are we still uh, actually? Are we it'll actually be bathwater. It won't have any fucking. Um, it'll have nope. my DNA in it. No don't combat you worry. engineer required. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny when that lawsuit came out. All right, and then anyone who was yet slotted, go slot Shh, up on okay, green. Barbarian. Shh. Shh. Does it matter where? No. Uh. -uh. Charlie. We will be right in. Hey, Drake, 60 seconds. I think that's good. Hey, Pierce, 60 seconds. I believe Pierce is still... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just no, typing in the chat. Sorry, I literally just got back and I had my mic for muted. Uh, I would... We need so, a machine, uh, another machine gunner down in the Mac. You mind joining uh, Olaf down on the machine gun team? Alright, so Blue Four getting a platoon medic, Man. the marksman, uh, mostly and two uh, squads of infantry, sure and a Mac team. No machine gun teams, interestingly enough. Even though they're on the offense, I think they're going to rely on the M2s guns. as well uh, as uh, uh, the pilot the for Delta, that. Um, that's an AH6M, which means it's armed. Uh, it's got one, three, Jeez. four, so uh, chain Oof, guns. This infantry section that, uh, is fire really light. Also, Alpha needs at least one medic, so I need Meanwhile, someone to take medic and someone to move Meanwhile, Independent going with their platoon marksmen, 
we're seeing two teams that are part of Alpha, and they're going to go heavy with their machine gun. All three machine we gun teams are going to be taken, medic, and so, their yeah, AT them. teams. So we're seeing basically hey, Nido, Snow, a weapon squad defending versus two squads sure. of infantry with support Thank assets. You. Or two rifle squads, uh, essentially. Night Snow, can you come Alpha 2? Copy that. Thank you. Yeah, once uh, that, I, I agree. I want to see that helicopter use better than last week's uh, MI-24s, because they were... I already did it, the, so I, the second round, somebody else came late. Was it the second round? The first Are time they used the 24 was late? decent. Uh, it just got cucked by the uh, Sam. But the... Uh, I can, though. That second MI-24 on round three, man, man, that was man, just man. squandered. Uh, uh, I can just, I can just, we only have Alpha. I can, I can lead Alpha from the Alpha 1 team lead if that's cool, like... Okay. I would like that. <clears throat> we'll go fight this at even odds. We'll see. It's, uh, this mission will be fine at even. They're gonna fight at even. No player advantage. 22v22. 22 22. Interesting. What, uh, what team are you? Delta 4, Matt. It's fine if you can. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Sick. Trying to are there uh, rile them like up. maybe two <laughs> solo players on blue who would be able to go slide up on green? Is Jeffrey and Dooley with 29th? They are. Yeah. You're, go you're gonna take two more of my players? Oh shit! Yeah, wrong way. Uh, let's see. I wonder if Logan's still here. I'm gonna yell. Hey, night and snow. I put you guys on green a second ago, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, he, you just uh. Damn, come back otherwise I'd yell at him to get his fucking head in the game. Then we'll be good there. <laughs> Let's go, Bravo. Bravo one. Oh, I'm gonna laugh if I see a Humvee get stolen. Man, are you enjoying me in Bravo one? Leave room for Cyrus is coming into Bravo one. So now they're changing it back to the 20% advantage on hey blue guys, four. Hey uh, guys, you want to fill out medium machine? You want to fill out a machine gun roll in Delta two in four? I have to go. Again, we're uh, seeing. Go have a good night. Squad here. <laughs> okay, bye. And all the support assets uh, taken. They're gonna have someone go and take that machine gun please. slot. And again, you're just seeing a lot of infantry here. So and only the mat team the fully taken. Bravo one, it'd be appreciated. Uh. Bravo one, push I don't see why blue four needs it though. Which one? If they're only going to be fighting jeeps, maybe to take out the statics if they're in the open as well. Because Pakistan in. is a pretty open map, so I guess the Maybe's thermal the camera would be a good advantage. But they're also going for the assistant, which means they want yeah. extra missiles. Right, Pierce, so maybe they'll use it against infantry. I am good. We'll have to see. Okay. Uh, but I, I honestly don't know. Yeah. So. Okay, let's go. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Could go either way. Yeah, I know RPGs, uh, any missiles or rockets are also anti-cover weapons. They could be fired into buildings, but there is no any or there isn't any ordinance that any AT has that is specifically designed for that. There's no thermal barracks. There's no frag OG. Uh, there's no HE rounds for the Mazes, uh, and the Javelin just an anti-tank round. So we'll we'll just have to see. saying hi to YouTube. That's fair. All right, so this AO does have a limited map. It is going to be another terminal wave. Blue Force spawning behind the airfield. This and is tech defend, rush this style area I've honestly called the uh, gauntlet a lot. Attackers gotta hack the so... terminal sequentially. The defenders have to defend. Go ahead and uh, tap assets out. Are the attackers have two Humvees with M2s, one little bird with miniguns. The defenders have uh, two jeeps with M249s on top and uh, a couple of static MGs. Any questions? Uh, can you go for the armaments on the helicopter again, sorry? Miniguns. And rockets. No rockets. Wait, just miniguns. Mm, just miniguns. Yes. Yeah. Just miniguns. Any other question? Yeah, thermals can't see through glass, but I have also ah, seen both sides players shoot through the Can glass, do. so the it's glass doesn't three. stop any of the bullets from hitting. What's so up? We'll see what happens. Now there are many guns. M134762. Okay. Alright. Uh, no, there's three. no spotting rounds for any of the AT. 
All right, so we are down and about. I'm gonna now go back to the uh, casting couch room with Barb. So I asked Rockets because I thought that M134 they meant to do M136. Also, by the way, it's lightning outside my house. So if I, my stream goes dead or I stop replying, that's why. It's okay. I'll carry for you. Yeah, well, it'll be the first time you ever do that. So. Well, now. But yeah, um, Blue Four having a uh, couple Humvees with them twos, and yep. they a, also have some uh, open top on. Humvees that can carry. I believe uh, these ones can take eight people, but it might just be four. I'm pretty sure you can put people on Do the they? back. No, uh, yeah, those uh, open top ones, and then Green Four spawning close by Terminal One. Oh, I see this. See, the interesting about this, though, is uh, they've got some open top VIX to the UAZs that can carry uh, eight or nine people, if I remember correctly, but uh, they're right next to the first terminal, so they could be, uh, those could be commandeered and used later, but um, since they've spawned on the front line, I'm going to be curious to see where they have their unit composition. Uh, looks like it is a uh, standard independent faction. We're not dealing with any, like, Takistan-style stuff, so... Yeah, um, mm. I don't know. They were saying they had statics. Yeah, uh, oh, I see them now. It's for dishkums, uh, which will be very useful in destroying both the helicopter and the Humvees. Um, we have an AAF so guy in the midst. We do? Yeah. That might be a glitched yeah. out player, but I think if there's so. no one to delete that, that's going to be funny. I'm pretty sure that just means they haven't loaded. Oh, it's unknown. Uh, his name is literally unknown, and yeah, he is. Yeah, a, so he might not. That might not be someone that's loaded in full yet. But there is. Haven't you ever seen that when you zoo? Sometimes you get an empty yellow unit, and it's just a uh, a random AI running around. Yes, I had that actually in the last stop that I zoo. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm wondering if that is going to be the case here, and he'll actually shoot. I'm not seeing any dynamic. Nope, oh, I just saw a dynamic simulation oh, on him. So he, that's gonna. Oh, oh, whoa! Hello. I think an admin's what? dealing with. Nope, that's a loaded in player. Okay. Oh, it's Koak. It's Koak. There you go. Okay. That just took a <laughs> he hot just, minute. He just needed to redress himself. He's pulling his rifle out. He's looking at his buddy. He's going, hey, guys, look at the sky recently. It looks so beautiful as I stare off into space. But anyway, uh, Op 4, or excuse me, Independent sky also has four dish like guys. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I uh, know they got the they got the Matt Gunner joining them now, looking in the sky as well. But anyway, uh, four Dishka is the place. Uh, I'm gonna be curious to see where they put those because there's some obvious choke points they could set those up. But with this being what I like to call the gauntlet, because it's that right side next to uh, the Loy Minara airfield. Um, I've done a lot of ops in this section, and it's really tough to use the company ridges because it's really open ground, no cover. Uh, and with mm. the amount of heavy guns in the AO, uh, they can easily get cut to pieces if they're not careful. Furthermore, uh, I don't see op, uh, excuse me, independent doing anything with these open areas because that little bird will be able to strike them. But that's only going to be viable uh, if Blue Four takes out the independent Mat Gunner because the Mat Gunner can shoot down the little bird because it is a javelin weapon system and that thing can lock onto anything that creates a thermal signature yes um be very interesting to see how that is utilized and did blue four take a mat team as well because again if they did it's only really gonna i be believe they did yes camera. holy shit that is lightning all right sorry like that's um that's something i was concerned about because blue four went for the full-on mat team including the assistant which has extra missiles for the mat gunner but what are they going to be striking, in my opinion? Because they have those open, uh, independent, have those open top, um, four, um, four person, uh, they're not even four person, it's a three person, uh, you know, the Syndicate 762 Mini Me technical. So, honestly, a 50 cal could easily snipe the engine out of that Vic. Um, I guess they're going to use the Mat Gunner for taking out static positions too, but. In all honesty, I just I just don't see why they had the assistant there. They should have put the assistant somewhere else. Because uh, another yeah. thing to consider, Blue Four uh, went for two rifle squads, and only the Matt team has support. Uh, and then, of course, the pilot for their uh, vehicle. Meanwhile, Independent went for all of their weapon teams. So they're going to be fielding three machine gun teams, the Matt team, and then one squad of infantry. Yeah, and that uh, little bird, I mean, it's 762 miniguns, high rate of fire, lots of bird, psychological, as well as very, you know, good 
and literal suppression. Yep. Um, but it it can hold, I believe, three people. If you really want to, I could. Yeah. So it can hold one guy in the back and one guy in the co-pilot seat. But the co-pilot's the only guy that has access to the camera there. So that's literally just going to be an eye in the sky, but only but useful. Does that camera have thermals? It does, but again, only a co-pilot can use it, so maybe the marksman yes. will be funneled somewhere. Because again, this is a really good marksman-heavy map, but because Independent has that map team gummer, they could easily just use a Titan to take them out. Also, do you have anything for intermission, or are we holding it for next week? Uh, holding it for next week. I gotcha. looked up um, the thing I was going to look up, and there really was nothing good for me to use. So that's fair. We'll just we'll just do the, uh, uh, you know keep talking about this, but we got some, we do have a lot of time to kill. Um, so, I mean, if you really want to bore your stream, we can talk about the logistics of a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take that, that awkward chuckle as a no, and I don't uh, No, I was it. laughing with you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, looking um, at the um, blue four players, though, they've got a few different circles organized with their two rifle teams. Independent, they've already sent one guy out. It's uh, D3, which I believe is the so weapons team. Yeah, one of the MG oh, team guys has already run all the way out on his own. Yeah, uh, that's Mountain. And I, I think if he's still, like, where is he now? Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's either going to be the most vanguard force ever or he's going to be the fucking... Hoonji trap that springs and hits and hits the attackers on the side. Because mm -hmm. um, that position, I mean, it. I, I there's so many things that could happen. Um, we've seen them uh, F and F that just in general it doesn't matter like the the unit or whatever they like to use um, airborne assets for flanking maneuvers. Hey, Sergeant Combustor. So I would not be surprised at all if they send the. Uh, Either the Matt Gunner or the Marksman, or even both. They have the slots for each, but um, I would be surprised if they send one of those two teams up into the mountains. Uh, just looking at the map on both the north and south side, we have lots of mountains and ridges, uh, especially to the south, uh, marker 2598. They mm -hmm. have that area to the south of it to walk around as uh, ground forces. The helicopter can fly outside of this black box area, but it has to land inside of it to drop off the infantry. So they could very easily just go way south, come up to the south side, drop them behind that mountain, and then the Mac Gunner can use them for... Uh, uh, we can use the javelin for thermals, can strike the uh, UAZs or the Jeeps or even infantry um if it really wanted to but um i think that'd be a better use for it than the marksman i think the distance for the mountain to that town yeah that's about a click so that might be a little much for the marksman if i was independent i would take my mat team put them in a uaz and i would have them go either on the north or the south get some elevation and just go vehicle hunting uh really just mm. to slow down blue four uh, because, you know, they know uh, each other's loadout, so they know that Blue 4 took two rifle squads. They're not in a bunch of little teams like the Delta teams are, so they're going to probably uh, consolidate, especially with the uh, armed VIX. So they're probably going to give one Humvee to each rifle team, so I would just send the Matt guy out and go to town, and what what are they going to do to counter, in all seriousness? Because mm -hmm. Air can yeah. get shot down by that Matt too. So... The they're only... going to send infantry to do it, and yep. the infantry can be suppressed with the 249s or even just uh, defensive garrisons. And Blue 4 doesn't really have a way to circumnavigate it because it's rush style game mode. They have to take Terminal 1, then Terminal 2, then Terminal 3. So they can't, the, the most they can do is, you know, maybe go to uh, Shudderacht uh, proper and try and attack from the east and you know and uh envelop them but i don't know how useful that would be yeah they're gonna need they have the slight numerical advantage because they are the attacking force but at the same time it's mm, I, I, it's gonna be a tough fight for them yeah, especially an, with these mountains another thing with sending that mat team far out is even if they don't find anything or like things get missed they can just be called back right on blue four's rear line and more than likely run into the helicopter, take that out, easily displace, and then come back again and aim for those Humvees. 
So it's just going to be a game of cat and mouse. But I think the real issue is going to be the render distance, because if I go to the southern ridge line, I can not even get to the top of the northern ridge line and vice versa. So there is going to be some holes in the gaps here. Uh, and it's it's just going to be a gamble. But, you know, for round three, those are the plays I would like to see for this operation. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, looking at independent, one of those statics has disappeared. I don't know where they moved it to, but I always know statics are probably one of the most underutilized things in all of Arma 3. So I'm going to be curious I mean, to see where they put those. I think your thing is pretty underutilized in general, but um, yeah, wherever they place that Free. static, whether it be on the rooftop or the balconies outside the first terminal, I, I mean, they're, they're really like defending this. They have barbed wire on one side, yep. they're reinforcing the walls with sandbags and Hesco's. But um, it, uh, they're really preparing for a, a backstab, but I think they need to prepare their frontal defense a little bit they, more. Uh, they got to get creative with these statics, though, because they can't just put them on open top buildings. That's just going to invite the enemy marksmen to take them out. So that's another thing, though. They're, uh, they're standing statics, so they have mm -hmm. to find creative places to put those that are going to be defensive and work from there. But what I would be surprised to see is what if they load a static all the statics are gone now but what if they um took them in some of the uazs and just turned uh made hmg teams put them on a hill have them go ham for a little bit <laughs> yeah. and then displace before the yeah, uh mat gun can ability. absolutely yeah would love to see that um by the way uh, tin hopped into my chat he said uh he wanted to say hello, and he wanted me to tell you to uh, open the damn package that you mailed. Him. I will. I will. I'm. I'm trying to get a new freaking microphone first. How long? So does it I take can sound micro... super professional. It's not a matter of when. It's when I have the fucking money. <laughs> you have an audio guy whose dick you suck all the fucking time. Yes, and he helped me here. optimize this microphone. But to buy a professional like boom mic and stuff is money, and I still have a college payment to make. Gosh, yeah, make you know there are street corners everywhere. You know. Oh my god. You're so inappropriate. Yeah, I learned from the best. Like I, I was gonna say dinner. something, but I'm not. <laughs> uh yeah. Send me it in Discord, you won't. <laughs> I'm just god, trying to see is. where they're deploying. We also see the technicals coming out. Yeah, the, the UAZs are, are coming hold out up, there. Hold up, hold up. Our core is lined up. Uh, he's got an MG guy getting in. D4, though, is the AT team, so they're going to go hunting. Who, uh, are you talking about Blue 4? Uh, no, Independent. D4 is the um, is their uh, Titan. And they've got that UAZ yeah. ready to go. They're totally going to go hunting. Absolutely. They got four in there. So they have, uh, looks like they have... Uh, an MMG and the former uh, PKP Pachena. They're also lining up the technicals. Players. They're going to go oh. offensive for a defense. Interesting. I mean, the best, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, but this is, I mean, I, it is the kind of, it is the last round, so I'm sure they're kind of just going, fuck it. Let's balls just, to the wall. Balls to the wall. Like, let's throw, let's throw a curveball and see if it works. Yeah, someone but shouts, I right? I wonder where they're going. They have a few compounds. Um, like around marker 2357, 2306, like along these roads, there's a number of like buildings and towns, little townships that they can use for cover and uh, pester them. But I'm actually very surprised that they're willing to leave um, this Terminal 1 area at all. They're leaving Koak and Gorskiewski uh, as well, um, just on their own, as Wiki, Olaf, and Stathenberg are on the south, ready to push up into those mountains to the south, um, just on foot. I'm thinking Independent's gonna do a pincer move here. They're gonna put one team far north, one team far south, maybe bring the technicals or have them on standby in the middle, and just try to catch Blue 4 out of position, because Blue 4 is gonna have to play cautious with that little bird, or else getting at risk uh, shooting down, because this is a massively open valleyway for uh the little bird to fly in but we'll see we're two minutes out also the mission's called a soapbox opera i the fuck um <laughs> i have nothing um i have someone saying in my chat um what about they put the hmg in the blue trim building by terminal one it's not a bad building as far as a defensive point, especially with it being right at the fork in the road. However, even with that building 
Blue Fort could just walk up the or walk through the buildings and through the alleys and everything, and not even have to deal with it to get to the objective. Yeah, so, I mean, on I the second that's... floor, it's pretty well concealed. They can also open the uh, northwestern area and put it on the balcony. Again, getting a good keyhole, uh, especially since uh, op, uh, excuse me, Independent deployed a bunch of barbed wire here uh, to try to guard against a rear push. Uh, from a vehicle pulling in, so it's a good call. But Independent going already, Blue 4 as well. They might just charge into each other. I would love to see that. And, yep, the the helicopter is going far south. It has some yep. kind of uh, payload in it. Let me see if I can uh, get some more intel for you. Yep, Russ the Marksman is hanging off the side of it, and yep. he's going to be going uh, to the south of those mountains and acting as a uh meanwhile Marcus blue four convoy formation oh real quick because these guys are going to run into each other uh they've got Holy both shit. armed vehicles in front meanwhile independent have a more standard convoy formation one armed vehicle in the front uh they are cutting left oh, though platoon hq oh just a little too far to the right uh i think the vehicles will, should be fine but they're gonna be sitting up in this building and they're gonna try to do a quick ambush however alpha is going a bit to the north they're diverting north Bravo is sticking to the road, though. If they're able to set this up in time... We're going to see an ambush here. Yep. This is going to be a half-decent ambush. They're slowing down, though. Did they get spotted? Bravo slowed down to a crawl. There's no way they spotted anything, though, from their angles. I, I don't see it. I agree, but, like... Also, the people? unarmed Vix are now not escorted at all. The two armed Vix going to the north... Mm -hmm. Platoon HQ ready to go. They got a technical setup as well. Bravo's pushing into their pushing towards their compound. It's what the fuck compound. is going on? Did they get spotted or are they just no? This here? is just pure luck. No one spotted each other yet. Wow. Wow. Uh, I think so. Are you spotted kidding something. me? They're setting up very. No, he's just charging in. That one guy is just charging in as Platoon HQ. They're gonna see this random technical right here and know something's up. He doesn't he even see the technical! Back. He doesn't even look left. No, why would they? That why guy they sees the left? technical, he's gonna stop and go, hey, what the hell? There's a fucking technical over here. But that honk's gonna he let Platoon HQ know they're right there. Oh, Some shots going yeah. off. First blood is probably gonna go to independent right here. They're gonna catch this oh, 249. And there's the double tap. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. The guy who spotted the technical and the other guy in the building that's Bassbeard, he had uh, assisted in taking out the guy in the field. More now, guys being deployed to the Bravo. north, by the way. This is just a random force split now. Independent needs to get the fuck out of here. They have the means yeah, to do it, but they're about bad. to get breached. This is bad. No one! Platoon, Platoon HQ! But Blue Four walked past him! No, Platoon no. HQ able to get a kill! Are you fucking kidding me? That wasn't HQ though. Oh wait, no, it was. The that was medic. HQ. Was medic? Oh no, it was that medic. Was, that was the medic. Oh, but the medic. Oh. oh medic hiding shit. in his friend's body. Wow. Oh yeah, this is a lesson on fog of war. Holy shit! Oh, what the wake's up? What are we expecting? Oh, but he now he gets he's. Not. What the he's fuck? I, I can't believe they both looked at him and went. Wait a second, that's a bad guy. Like, and you let oh, him. That that and one guy have, let his buddy down in that fight. I'm not gonna lie. And that now was... we have a full squad and two HMG Humvees against two lone Green Fort guys. Yeah, they put all their cards into this play. Like they were not. Yeah, playing on that it, was getting past Terminal One. I I Which don't see the plan mean... here. I think they were just expecting the vehicles to pass by, but Blue Four I guess predicted this and just decided to play it super cautious. Um. I'm not gonna lie. If I was in Blue Force shoes, I would have I wouldn't have gone down the MSR, but I would have like just kept all my units together at the very least. Meanwhile, Rust on the south deployed, uh, looking into the town, seeing all of the um, independent guys there. Independent now firing up at Blue Force positions oh, to the north, no. but also you have Platoon That's HQ. Uh, I guess what remains the, the other marksmen. Why is it always the marksmen are super close to each other in these missions? Like, they're literally on top of each other sometimes. It's really weird. But now we also have uh, Blue Four has taken a technical. Uh, whether yep, or not they're going to use it is... Oh, nope, they're mounted. So it's a free... It's a free 762. Uh, 556. Uh, five, it's an M249. Oh, it's the Mini-Me? Yes. Yeah, you're right. That's, it is a 556. Five, I've, I've been saying it's a 762. My bad. Well, it's not the first mistake you've made. 
I mean, it's better oh. than their open skin Vix. At least it has a gun on it. But yeah, Independent yeah. has a lot of forces out of position. There's no Platoon HQ to give them orders. And there's only two guys watching Terminal 1. They are looking at the Blue 4 offensive here. But... Oh, shit! A 50 cal just went up, kill, uh, hitting the gunner on one of the Vix. A large yeah. barrage of fire now coming down, catching some of these Blue 4 guys out in the open. That was Alpha 1's team lead, uh, Sergeant Boss. He's now down in the Humvee. Uh, I think he, Ooh. um, no, there's two people in the Humvee. The gunner is down, but the driver drives away, uh, trying to recover. So but, they put uh, a dish gun in this building. That's why the a large amount of fire just came out. Right. And so far, two Blue 4 guys are down for the count. Uh, I was oh, curious to see what they do too. with those statics. And now they're going to be able to get this heavy fire up, and there's no cover for these blue four guys go down. Just a few rocks they're forced to hide behind. But oh, that's a goes out. beautiful min to max. Out. Missile's Where? going out towards the little bird. Little bird. That's the Titan. It's I'm not going to be able to dodge. Go. Nope. It's and there that. it goes. Yeah, there's oh. the, the little bird does not have any countermeasures, so doing that yeah. wide flying uh, maneuver just kind of killed it. I don't know why the yep. pilot pulled something like that, but with that little bird knocked out, Independent now has to, uh, doesn't have to worry about any strafing runs. That's a bit of a misplaced asset for uh, Blue Four. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I've been like I've been seeing some commanders keep units in reserve, and those guys tend to win more of the operations compared to people that just throw everything in on the mm -hmm. beginning. Because every time I've seen air used, it's been used way too early, and it just gets squandered, in my opinion. Yeah, and I mean, it wasn't bad sending that marksman up there, but then they needed, he needed to keep that in reserve for when he's needed. Uh, but we do have independent alpha. They're mounting back up, and it looks like they're trying to head back towards um, towards their uh, first objective, Delta 4. Yeah, to quickly reinforce it from that Blue 4 offensive. Um, so Delta 4 I, I think it's good they're pulling back. Too. Yeah, no, they, they might be displacing. Uh, that's smart though, because you know if you lose one and you don't keep the other two defended, uh, you can just get back capped. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now that's not really a possibility because of the the Humvees being suppressed and the Little Bird being shot down. But uh, it is something that you need to keep in mind. Absolutely. You still do have uh, one of the Humvees is being solo crew because his TL died. We just heard Ooh. an explosion. Something blew up that one UAZ transporting Alpha-1. That might have been a Matt Gunner, or just Arma being that, Arma. That could have been the Matt. Because, I mean, there's, there's not even any rocks or anything to Arma themselves on. Not saying it's not impossible, but I'm just not seeing the culprit. So we have Dooley to the north, but he only has the 136. I... I don't see the Javelin guy anywhere for Blue 4 right now. Um, I know he exists. Maybe he was in the technical that's driving up now. But I, I think that was just uh, Arma being Arma. Blake. Blake is up in the mountains, and he's reloading his Javelin. So I'm pretty sure that was Wow, him. yeah, no, so they turned their render... They have better render distance than us then. But yeah, no, if he was reloading that Javelin, he does have perfect eyes on that position. So yep, that mm -hmm. was him. He might be trying to line up a shot on that technical coming down now, but that's going to cost uh, Independent a little bit of time to move. I'm also mm -hmm. seeing some smoke grenades being popped by some Independent players, so maybe they're getting shot at. Uh, we they still have some are. people back here getting bandaged, so... Remember, hit P and you can see the tracers. Yep. Oh, right. I'm a dum-dum. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we do feature. have... Um, we do have the uh, Rust with uh, his platoon... Uh, excuse me, he's the platoon marksman. Uh, just looking down, he could go in for some licks. However, um, the other platoon marksman, he's guns up. I think he heard a few shots go out. So we might have a uh, stat come up and try to hunt down Rust here. Hold up, we have the oh, Mount oh, pulling oh, oh, oh. around. That, yeah, Mountain is pulling around soloing. Oh, okay, so he, oh, he hits the bush. What the see? fuck? Oh, no. Oh, oh he, he gets... <laughs> this, like, immediately... Too That's bad. hilarious. He's getting, he's getting that is actually down. hilarious. I think he was going to try to go for a ram on whoever A1 is, but wow. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was, it was a good play, but unfortunately just wasn't enough. Meanwhile, looking well, back at the marksman. Blake firing more shots. Oh, no, it's Rust firing more shots. 
Uh, he's basically engaging some independent down there, catching one guy out of the open, but you're going to have the other marksman basically run up and shoot him in the back of the head. Uh, this other guy, he's gone to a walking stance, but he is now getting engaged. Yeah, Bravo 1 has spotted him, and that is some accurate fire. Yep. Blue 4, That's he's crawling back. He might be thinking yeah, he, he got engaged, but he still doesn't turn oh. around. He doesn't take the hint. Oh! oh. He's, he yep, got shot so many times, he's not going to wake back up, but he's going to go up for the double tap. He should. He absolutely should. And there it is. Whew. Pop, pop, pop. Watch so, I mean, there board was board. a chance for them to radio up there, but the, they, they, there wasn't enough time for that message to go out. He was just no, confused. He pulled back a bit, trying to wonder where those shots were, and it just two and two did not connect, unfortunately. Well, a few things did connect, but that was between the marksman of, of yeah, his bullets and uh, yeah, his bullets connected. His head. That's about it. Um, doing a quick head count. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen or so. Um, Blue Force still has that numbers advantage, um, but they've you know ruined their element of surprise. I Blue think with the end of the yeah, go ahead. But well, as I was gonna say, people are still trying to get back to the first terminal to garrison it and defend it against an, an attack. But I mean, with Olaf and Mickey out fight, yeah. in their building, Finn and Indigo Fox up in their building to the south, and Patriot and Nemesis up here in, the, in these uh, trees doing God knows what. Um, the, I don't know what their idea is. Maybe they just don't feel comfortable with crossing that open field. Yeah. What they have to do is just get in their vehicles and beeline it at this point, because if they what stay vehicle? up in the open, they still have that marksman that they have to deal with. They know that independent have static positions here. Uh, the Dishka that was in the southern building has actually been destroyed, and these two independent guys mm. are stuck. Uh, looks like they're yeah. getting engaged by a single shooter. He's getting shot back, though. Well, so I, I want to counter your point about the uh, vehicles, because A, what vehicle? Because it got blown up. B, what for Blue Fort? No, for Green 4. The guys no, I was gonna... saying Blue 4 needs to do the charge here. Green 4 oh, doesn't... Yes, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, so Independent is completely out of position here, and there's only a few guys defending Terminal 1. If Blue 4 were to do a charge now, uh, specifically with their southern position, uh, they could get those in as the northern team overwatches. But I don't know why we've just been seeing kind of piecemeal here, where only one group engages while the other one is just kind of bumbling around, so... Well, I don't I know what the play is going to be. They, they've been moving to the south. I'm guessing to try and flank that the uh, Blue Force been moving to the south. We have um, them taking those open tap Humvees as well as that uh, 249 technical. Um, and yeah, they're, they're guess... taking it south. I think they're going to go hunting for the marksman that they spotted earlier uh, and try to knock yeah. that asset out because uh, they probably lost contact with their marksman, so they know something's up. But yeah. sending that other vehicle with them, leaving Platoon HQ behind, I don't... I, I understand the Platoon HQ being left behind so we can coordinate things, but I, I guess they're going to reposition the southern team maybe to back cap, but... That's putting a lot of faith in the northern push uh, after it's already taken quite a bit of punishment here. Uh, we'll just have to see how it all plays out. Yeah, I think what they're doing with this um, blue four force to the north is they're just laying down suppressing fire, keeping them pinned. Yep. I mean, they need to be mindful of their, uh, you know, their ammunition because mm -hmm. they've been shooting a lot of fucking bullets. But they're gonna do that while uh, blue, uh, blue four Bravo. Uh, tries to come up behind the marksman and possibly come down in a classic pincer maneuver and try and just go down uh, go down the hill from the south go down the hill from the north and convene on the first terminal and if they're able to do that and either knock out the Delta 2 HMG team or even just bypass them uh, that'd be pretty pretty effective and we're seeing out in the field uh, Patriot has gone down in the middle of the field so that suppressing fire is keeping that in independent uh, force from in moving in. Yep. Yeah, it's keeping them from moving back into the to the um, terminal. By the way, real quick, that technical is hunting the marksman. I think the marksman is aware 
uh, because he is looking around. He also has the other marksman rifle on him. Probably took some ammo for that, too. Probably going to see the dirt get kicked up from that technical. Also, infantry have been deployed. They're also going to hunt him. So a lot of units being dedicated to take out this one unit. But since he does have both marksman rifles in this type of environment, he is definitely a threat. So I can understand why Blue Four is committing so much here. Um, I really don't see a way for... Uh, Poor Stat to get out of this one, though. He's got four, uh, an entire fire team looking for him. He's got a technical searching for him. Uh, I know he only knows well, about the technical, though. So that's true. I, I, I do see a way for him to get out of this if he's able to. Well, now my opportunity is leaving, but if he's able to isolate the technical, snipe out the gunner and the driver, take it for himself, and sprint back down to friendly forces with the technical, then. Um, maybe but that opportunity is long gone the technical he does now, have the higher the caliber forces. weapons too if i was in his shoes i'd be taking the 20 round uh other marksman weapon the um, yeah. yeah because he could just take that scope out it would be a little easier to use uh has a bigger magazine capacity but he doesn't know about the other infantry here so i don't know we'll see what he decides to do meanwhile platoon hq going on his own he might go to where olaf's building is uh d2 guys that have been getting suppressed for a while and try to go finish the fight himself yeah that's a possibility as well i'd also, love for the platoon uh, uh mm -hmm. commander to just like spot the marksman and just dome him We've seen, i've seen that a number of times where some random third party in an engagement like comes and just to, uh, just like takes all the air out of the fight by yeah. knocking out uh, the contact. But go ahead, you're about to say something. Blue Force searched to the left of the marksman and then to the right of the marksman, but not the in between area. So now I think they've given up their search and they're actually now looking into the AO, possibly Send to try to get a jump on that D2 position. Uh, MG from the technical is now firing up at the independent position. I think they spotted someone through the tree line here. And that's gonna possibly let the marksman reposition and get in a few kills. This is a very dangerous position to put a marksman because this close, he's gonna be dead on accurate. And with a lot of concealment, there's a lot of places he can originally hide. And if he, um, you know, plays this like uh, any game like Dishonored where you have to kind of kill people in a certain order, he could get away with a lot. We have seen plays like that happen, especially if he takes the blue four weapon and uses it. He might audio PID, uh, do some confusion with that and get in a few has, extra kills. He still has he the still Dragonov out. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He still has the Dragonov. He did not take that SR25, which, which I think is a bit of a misplay from both the audio perspective and the ammo capacity perspective. But... Cosmonaut, nutty person, Jeffrey. Real quick, other technical, sorry to cut you off. Other technicals Go going ahead. north is going to try to do a wide flank again. Uh, it might be able to get away with it, though, since it's armed. So that'll be something interesting to look at. Yeah, um, I'm just keeping an eye on this. Stauffenberger is not, uh, he's not wanting to, to jump the gun on this. Um, as the uh, GPNG, as I want to call it, uh, is firing on the Delta II HMG team. Olaf and Wiki have been through hell in this position. Holy crap. Like, just loads of suppressing fire. Yeah, and from literally every angle. Blue 4 has just had so much target asphyxi uh, oh, fixation on this position. Look, uh, look south of Sathenberger's position. Yeah, he's got the Jeep right there. I think you saw it, so he knows he has an escape route, but he needs to come down and get some kills. Also, looks like uh, Blue 4 is now starting to suppress into Objective 2. I think they spotted oh, some no, movement in there. Crashed. They probably saw the Dishka. Oh, unfortunately, Wiki's losing connection. No, no, Wiki. Uh, well, he hasn't lost it completely yet. Uh, might have actually been his internet. We'll see. That would suck. I mean, he's he's been through so much, and to leave Olaf now would honestly suck. All right, Marksman's still looking around on the prowl here. He needs to be utilized because he could get some really good kills in here. But for now, ugh, I don't know. Platoon HQ yeah. also super close to that building. Everything just so scattered right now. Meanwhile, the um, it's Infidel and uh, Dean on that technical. They've gone super far north. I I don't know what they're doing. They're being a wild card right now. 
Oh, but Cyrus and the... Oh. I always did say target asphyxiation. Yeah, I meant to say target fixation. Cyrus and uh, Wheaton here in the stolen technical, they pushed up to the building. Take some, some friendly fire from the M203. Yeah, but they're going to suppress. Grenade gets Wheaton, thrown okay. in. Great grenade in. Yeah, I think Wiki's crashed. gone because Wiki's just chilling right there, unfortunately. Uh, Wiki's crashed. Olaf, he's Perfect just... grenade throw. That's going to knock Olaf. No, it hurts him, but he's still walking. Oh, but he spotted the aim, though. The pain, oh. Was, oh, the pain was too much for him to bear. And, and Wiki, no, oh, no, he still has his marker, but he's glitching out, so these guys might get confused. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucks. So they're putting multiple shots in Wiki's face, and Wiki's just laughing, saying, Are you kidding me? I'm invincible, you you motherfucker. Have no power here. You have no power. Exactly. This is going to confuse Blue 4. They're going to go and wonder what the fuck is going on. Meanwhile, I'm seeing um, some of the Blue 4 guys are down. I think Sat Ooh, was able to get yeah. a marksman shot. Yep, and there's a and, double and tap. The, and Nemesis and Ideen up in the, the, the GPM Jeep, they're, they've taken... Or sorry, just some it's Infidel and Dean. They're now firing... Oh, yeah, it's Infidel and Dean. They're now exchanging fire. One of them goes unconscious, Ooh. though. Um, I wish that was the Gunner. Yep, Ideen yep so Gunner down. went down... Gyro needs up. Ooh, Ooh another bad shot kill. from those 50 cals. So there's still one up, but yeah, I don't still think driving away. I don't think they did any significant damage. Uh, I'm hoping the marksman is able to kind of even this out, get a few shots. I'm seeing some dead bodies around for Blue Four, like one or two, but I'm not sure yep. if those are from the GPM or um, not. What to the north? I think that was from the initial firefight. That's very possible. Yeah. So, Blue Force taking cover behind this UAZ. Perfect shot for Independent to take. I just don't know why he's holding fire here. He could deck both of these guys. I think he's just being cautious, not knowing where the technical is, but he needs yeah. to he needs to kill the guy that's still prone by the Vic, though. I gotta wonder what's going through his head. Oh, uh, Wiki's trying to reconnect, but I don't think he can. Yeah, he he unfortunately bit the bullet. I would rule him as dead. And now the other guy, he's gotten up. Why isn't Stat taking the shot? There he there is. There it is. He just took it. He's taking a couple. Gets, gets a cripple. But he's hiding behind it, and that fire is dead accurate. Oh, come on. Stathenberger, you see him. That was his teammate. Now all of Blue Force firing up there. Yeah, I don't they're, getting, they're pretty close with that. They see him. Yeah, he's running. Yeah, out. no, he's he got he out. got sought pretty easily. That was a pretty bad position to open fire from. Honestly, he needed to find a position to where. Honestly, in my opinion, away. that tree is too obvious. Just out of oh, all, yeah. like you know, I would check under the trees first, and I, I get he was just trying to find a position where he could easily lay prone. Uh, he has also been hit himself. I would just oh, go for broke here. Times. He's got a lot of dudes out in the open. He has the range advantage. He has a scope. He has two fucking marksman weapons. He needs to just go for kills at this point. The issue is, are people going to get in that uh, static and uh, use it to suppress the shit out of his position? He is also taking fire from his own guys. No, come on. That's an HMG too. That is, let me see if I can find out who the fuck that is. Wow, when even your that's own, Boston. that's Boston that's shooting up Boston. at him. That's Come amazing. On, Boston. I mean, I'm sure he's just shooting at, he's trying to follow tracers or something. Yeah. And it looks like the, those tracers might be coming from friendly but just. Oh, oh, he gets shot right in the face. It goes down. Shot, takes him out. Yep. And now that's we're unfortunate. To, I think about six. We have Indigo, Nemesis, and Finn down to the south, and their little menage, menage a trois. Norris, Koak, and Gutskiewski are in their Menage a Trois. And then Arcor and Boston are, and Infidel now have their own Menage a Trois. So three different uh, threesomes going on. I mean, so far out, not really being able to connect with each other. It's going to be a matter of time, especially as we're seeing Blue Four Alpha six. now pushing yeah. in. Mm -hmm. They barricaded off the road, but they just went right around it. Um, it's uh, 15 Blue so, 4 versus 9 Independent, by the way. But Blue 4 is going to start getting uniformed here. And they're just going to take out these three pockets uh, with very little uh, resistance. But you never know. This is where we could see some pretty crazy plays happen. Uh, especially since there's multiple pockets of Independent. As long as Blue 4 has a good idea of where they are, anything could potentially happen. Uh, these Independent mm -hmm. guys close to uh, Blue 4's 
HQ position could do something. Uh, I think the technical is going to go up there and try to grab those marksman rifles. That would be a really good call. But I think the next real battle is going to be at Terminal 1. And you still see some blue four guys shooting up at the independent guy's body, just trying to make sure the kill is confirmed. Nel yeah, Tab is uh, continuing two, uh, his gift sub from Anonymous Guy. Itself. Thank you, Nell. I hope uh, you keep bunker, enjoying the operations. Some, uh, hope you're enjoying Friday Night Fights, and I hope you get a kick uh, out of this open one. open on the east and the western side with uh, openings for fire on yeah, the exactly and what's north that. side. So they'll be able to, to look at Actually, no, little, these, uh, these guys have already been engaging an with Blue 4 up here, so they're not uh, exactly the fresh. And then also they uh, these guys the uh, the might north. be fresh, though. But hopping over the wall, doing anything like that, leaves it pretty uh, uncontested. Uh, we have an AK and a PKM inside of the bunker itself. The PKM is just watching that entrance. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if he gets naded out, but it's be I think it's a better choice than... Uh, sticking your head out of the window um but alpha they're playing the safe they're clearing every single building that they're coming across because they do not want that thorn in the side like they had to deal with with the first uh contact um i think it was actually bravo who uh had to deal with that so these guys are either just doing it out of actually who are these guys Dooley, private hudson t4 herb so we got a good mix of Pretty experienced guys, so they're going to be checking all these windows, clearing all these buildings, especially now that they're getting closer and closer to the terminal. So, and by the way, exactly we have is. Martin in the back on Blue 4. He is suppressing Arcor, uh, at least trying to land some shots, but that's a very yeah. long distance. I don't yeah, think yeah. any are going to land, but he's at least slowing them down. Uh, but Arcor, he does have, excuse me, uh, Martin, he does have the 50 right here. Uh, so, if one of those shots do land, it's going to be very fatal for Arcor. Absolutely. All right, Blue Four, they're setting up. They're staging along the MSR, getting ready to go in. But just all these defensive positions and just no one to man them. I stand corrected. I think uh, Martin's actually suppressing back, trying to engage Terminal 2's area. Uh, maybe he spotted Infidel running by that technical, but Infidel's taking that technical now and driving it behind the rear Vic. Interesting. We have Dooley now on top of some of these uh, Hesco barriers, and he's trying to get some cheeky angles. Gets uh, caught in the void, and he's going to try and hop the wall here in a second. If he tries to go for the door, um, no, he's hopping the wall here. Let's see what he does. He goes in. Ooh, PKM catches him in the foot. He's trying to get the fuck out, but he's got that hole right there. Smoke hits the hole high, and... Wow. How do you lose that fight? I can't believe my eyes just saw and And he gets knocked out by a grenade, but Yeah, but that How's is that is a death for the PKM gunner. And the last guy in there has just has an AKM as uh we have uh Herb coming in the backside. De uh, whoever's in there still is gonna be drawn by that gunfire. Oh, he doesn't see him. Herb doesn't see him. They didn't get the footsteps right, and unfortunately that went down. Now you're having the last guy here, uh, Gores, and you also have Arcor running in on foot. But so far, it's only been one casualty for Blue Four, two KIAs. Uh, he tries to fire Come some on, rounds dude. and doesn't Four get a kill. Difference. Nah, they were, they were hit the lip of that turret, uh, the, the little slit in the window. And, ooh, he gets a kill. One. Good headshot. Gets the oh other kill. God. He's going to be able to stop the hack. We'll see how much that actually does. We're getting on to 30 minutes. Terminal 1 hack stopped. Yep. 30, we're getting close to 30 minutes in active. And we have five blue for it now com coming down. Yep, we have Voss running in. We have uh, Sholand on Overwatch. Nielsen might catch Arcor off guard. Nope. Arcor running way in the open. He gets shot by Robertson. What a shame. And he's going to get double tapped by him, too. Boss is, is breaching the bunker. Yeah, but that's oh, as he's medicating. Holy crap! But he holds his fire. He held his fire, and I don't know why. Emptying a shit ton of rounds. Dude, Holy crap. Down, not out outside the bunker, but it's been so long. I don't think he's going to be waking up anytime soon. Gore is, that's what, three kills for him? And then there's a fourth so. guy unconscious. 50 cal now oh, pulling in. But it's yeah. not going to be useful. They're going to have to go in and try to take him. But he's now going to displace. 
and he's running right in. 249 sees him, oh, but unfortunately he has his head lowered and it just adds to the center of mass and gets shot in the face. Lord. Because you got to think about it, if you're crouched, that's going to tell the guy, okay, I need to aim down. But if you're crouched, you're putting your head at your center of mass where normally your torso would be if you're standing. So it just makes it easier for the other guy with the auto rifle to hit you in the face, which is going to insta kill you. Um, I, I'm seeing some stuff in your chat, Leroy, but I would just like to clarify. There are some people from TSB in here, but they are playing uh, under a different label. Yep, so uh, uh, it's Nemesis and Fin uh, Scandi Recon, and Infidel is uh, in a different group. I think he's just kind of solo playing, but I don't know. No, not he's, sure, um, I, I forget, he was tagged as someone else, so I, I don't know. Um, or not as someone else, but as a different group, so we'd have to see. But meanwhile, independent, uh, two guys also getting um, caught in the open. Blue four trying to hunt them down. There was three independent guys here. It's down to two. Uh, I do see Cosmonaut wounded, but I don't know by what. Oh, look at this. Finn is hiding behind a dead body. Oh, is he camouflaged? Yeah, he's himself? hiding behind a dead blue for a body. So um, that's a very cheeky strategy. We've already seen that used very once today. Very cheeky, yep. And but now so blue four is getting that hack as well. I don't see any medics up there, so they're not going to be able to get Dooley up. Uh, the medic is on the southern side. But yeah, Finn is going to try to lock this down, uh, hiding in a body here. So Robertson we'll see how things go. Dooley's body, so he's going to try and stabilize and try and get a medic over to him. But it's been so long. I wonder how much he's bled out, but uh -oh. um, I want to see how what uh, Finn does here. Yep, so we have Nutty. He is down by some enemy bodies. I think this is the guy that he killed. So we do see some blue four bodies here. I think there was a firefight uh, that happened while we were looking away. But we did just see Nutty, who is the medic, take the LR from Independent. So he's going to try to tap into their comms. Not a bad strategy here. And Finn is still chilling right here, trying to see who else comes into this little kill zone he's made. Meanwhile, Nemesis getting close to the other guys. Uh, this is a little bit of an open area, though. He's got the walls to cover him for now, but gotta play it safe. Both sides playing this incredibly cautious. Meanwhile, Infidel, it looks like he's going to back up the Terminal 3. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Just try and buy that time, or, like, use what time they have to, uh, just wither away at them, away at, uh, from Blue 4. As the Terminal 1 hack completes, and bidi bidi bidi. Now that's the beep I'm hearing, yep. So, by the way, it is 10v3 right now. Yeah, that's pretty rough. No, it's 11v3. Uh, there were Wait. two guys right on top of each other. So 11 Wait, so on blue four, three for independent. Wait, nope, yeah, independent had more guys than the VIX. It's 4v11. God, everyone has a secret guy somewhere. I, oof, uh, too true, too true. Um, hold up, nah. hold up. Finn might see a guy. He's running up to Nemesis' position, but Finn is not looking at that angle. He was watching that kill zone and then turns away. Nemesis might hear his footsteps, though. Nemesis is going to follow Finn. in behind. Finn sees one. Goes for the kill. And gets the kill. Finn Meanwhile, Finn kill spotted well, he... nutty person. Uh, gets He gets him down, but... Gets him uh... down. Platoon HQ also running in, trying to figure out what just happened there. Finn staying by that body. Finn's going for the double tap. Oh, Finn stands up. And he's well within the viewpoint of Dreek, who is that platoon commander. He sees him, and he's got a 203. He could do some damage here. Yeah. Yep, he whips out the 203. Shoots it over, oh. only wounds him. That causes Finn to start running. But that just... Wow, I don't know target. why he didn't just go for the shot. Another 203 goes down, again going over the finish guy. And it is now 2v3, but this yeah, is not th the main fight. Oh, Dreek. another one going over. Uh, Dreek is getting some hits in, but he can't seem to finish him off. So now Finn's going to be able to get behind this building, take a bit of cover, bandage. But Nemesis is now firing up at Platoon HQ. They're clearly talking with each other, uh, getting uh -huh. some good coordination in. Uh, uh, but now we're too. having he's Wheaton. He's got blood on all of his uh, lens. Ooh, Jesus. yeah, no, he got wounded pretty bad. Uh, Martin, we have though. Cyrus and Wheaton. Hold up, there is a Vic driving right up. That's Martin. He's driving around. He doesn't see. Oh, he might have seen them. Breaks down the wall. Oh, but Nemesis is oh. being flanked. Doesn't get hit, though, thankfully. Oh, Lord. He's going to break down the wall. This is this is hilarious. 
He's just poking holes. Uh, Fucking for, Scandi oh. Recon doing super well right now. Relatively, but well, I don't know how much uh, effect it'll actually have in the grand scheme of things. Nemesis has a lot of guys hunting them down. They're basically using this uh, Humvee to knock down the walls to limit where Nemesis can go. So Nemesis is going to really get pinned. Finn needs to come around. He has the RPG out. He might try to line up a shot. Oh, Nemesis, Nemesis trying to run. He's taking a position. shit ton of fire, doing a silly serpentine route. All right, that Doesn't survive. take a shot. Beautiful. Ooh, RPG just, just misses. Yeah, just a little behind. As he hops out too, if he had waited another second on that, he would have had a clean shot. Nemesis getting some shots, knocks down platoon lead. And Finn goes down to a 203 by Martin. Oh yeah, that landed pretty close too. Oof. Oh, there's a second one to double. That probably is gonna prevent him from waking up. Yeah, oh, and here we have Martin pushing up on a Nemesis position. But Finn does wake back up. Oh, what the what? fuck just happened? What the fuck did just happen? Okay, so Finn woke back up, took Martin's attention away from Nemesis. Nemesis came around the corner. Martin killed Finn, and I think, I think Finn and or sorry, Nemesis and Martin traded, but then Martin got executed by his own guys. So if uh, Martin receives immediate medical attention, he might be able to wake back up, but they did kill the medic. And honestly, for the amount of people that were down here, two guys did pretty much nullify that advance. Only two guys remaining up, but they might be able to medic him. Uh, also, um, real quick, on my end, Trooper, thanks for the 19-month uh, resub. I am doing well. Hope you're enjoying Friday Night Fight. Uh, looks like Wheaton is marking his area with a smoke, trying to get Cyrus so up here. Thank you for the subscription. Um, hope you keep enjoying the ops and hope you get a kick out of this. But that's my thing. Why, why'd you steal my thing? Well, I, I, like, I like playing with your thing, you know? No, stop it. <laughs> so anyway, we have Infidel in Boston. They're talking with each other. They got a PKM and a GP25 on that AKM. And it is going to be two versus, on this northern flank, five. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, they, uh, I want to see what they're able to do with uh, catching them in the side. At Well, now nah, there's too much height difference between the buildings and the terrain. They're not even going to be able to see Alpha move across the MSR to get to Terminal 2. That's going to so be a fight for Terminal 3. By the way, oh, real quick, there are 13 minutes remaining. Blue 4 yep. is going to have to still be cautious. Considering the two hacks, it takes a minute to hack the terminals, but I'm assuming the timer will stop if Terminal 3 gets hacked. So Possibly. I'm not this sure. is going to probably be an eight-minute scenario on Terminal 3 uh, by the time Blue 4 hacks Terminal 2 and gets there. So if Green 4 can just hold for that amount of time they could potentially pull this off. It's going to be close. Yeah. Alpha's pushing in. They're going to be clearing it, but they should be able to quickly see that it's pretty well uncontested. So I just realized um, Dreek was still alive. He's the platoon lead. Uh, nope, he just died. Yep. It was uh, going to yep. be picked up and try to get moved down, but I don't think Blue 4 has any medics left, so I doubt they're going to get those guys up. Uh, still a possibility, but we'll have to see. They do have the Humvee that's armed, so they can still bring that up and use that as a force multiplier. But I don't know. Yeah, um, no, I, I think you're right. There, I don't think there are any medics left. The rest of them are... Uh, Nielsen is a squad lead. Eagle is an AT man. Sholand is an auto rifleman. Flanagan's just a rifleman. And then Wheaton and Cyrus are both... Uh, well, Cyrus is a combat engineer, and Wheaton is a uh, AT man as well. So, no, uh, no medics on either side. So, if you go down, you take a lot of hits. You're gonna stay down, I think. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to see how Independent can win this. They can win it if Blue Force stays super slow, uh, and they can win it if they just get a good hit on some of these dudes. But Blue Force still has a balanced uh, five-man team here. They got some AT. They got some machine guns. Grenade going off, I think, because they're checking these bunkers. Yeah, and that was absolutely a bad frag. It bounced off yep. them, and uh, who was that? I believe that was Eagle, who um, PFC Eagle, who had to run away.
I mean, you got to consider, though, every little mishap Blue 4 has is going to eat up on that clock, and we just could see a clutch by Independent based off of time. But Blue 4 getting that guy loaded in the Vic, they're going to now bring it up. I'm willing to bet they might actually go over to Terminal 3 and start setting up, uh, unless they try to deploy, uh, excuse me, drop off the other Blue 4 guy first, but we'll have to see. Yeah, and they're starting to breach into the terminal building. Clearing their corners, checking all the way. Actually, I was mistaken. That is adjacent to the terminal building. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was, it's the same, you know. Wow, the Overwatch guy didn't even notice that Humvee came up. He just saw, I'm willing to oh, bet the Humvee no. might have seen him. But he does have a GP25, so he could get some shots on that Humvee. Oh, uh, wait, no, they woke, the guy woke up. So yeah. it's now 3v2. Uh, the guy that uh, was down, um, I think it was Martin. Oh, what? Okay. I was about to say, if that frag went into the bunker, I would have laughed my ass off. So that and first GP25, GP way, way over. over. Jinx. Second one, wounding their AT4 guy a bit, Wheaton. Third one, getting a wounding shot too. Grenade gets thrown in perfectly. But... Oh, Infidel. Infidel. Ooh. Infidel gets a lucky shot. I believe that might have been a headshot. Throws a grenade and pulls back, checking his rear. Absolutely the right move to do. Watch that back spike, but he oh. doesn't watch the hallway, and he gets taken out quick as could be. And that's going to be Terminal 3 now. Now it's up to uh, Boston. Well, yeah, it's up to Boston, but they didn't get... Oh, what the fuck? I saw that too. I don't know. Prone glitch, I think. Of something. Terminal 2 hack is going out now. Um... How much do they have? About nine minutes left to go, so... Yeah, Boston's gonna... Like he's trying to get through the door. Uh, now it is a clutch or kick situation. Absolutely. This clutch is or kick. Win or loss, clutch or kick. So, I mean, they have the guy... Uh, let's see, Martin is working on Cyrus. Nope, he is not. They're gonna go for the kill instead. Which is the right thing to do. I mean, they should know by now that the numbers have to be just absolutely dismal for Green 4. Wheaton was going to flank around. He decides to go against it. They're popping a shit ton of smoke grenades. Oh, come oh on. and uh, we're going to say Boston, kick. Boston peeked around He's the dead. corner with no, with like before he finished the reload. Absolutely a misstep on him. If he had waited another half a second, we would have had a round in the chamber. Hammer back, ready to go. And, Dana, uh, I can't well. write in spectator chat to just say kick, kick, kick. But yeah, no, that's that's GG because uh, terminals, you know, they're still going to take another minute to uh, go off. But yeah, that's it. Jesus. Unforged. Barbarian, you're able to write in there. Okay. So yes. overall, I just think Independent committed way too many units to that preliminary ambush. Uh, it, it was a should have been a lot less. Gambit. It was a very interesting gambit, and I liked what they were doing with it, uh, with their idea at least. However, in practice, it just was not good. I don't know why the mission hasn't ended yet. I guess they need to actually follow through with the objectives, but all of it. Yeah, so it's like search down. and destroy where, you know, you plant bombs still and have to defuse and blah, blah. But anyway, there goes that one. Yeah, nice little GB though. effect spawns in to instantly blow up. GB? Yeah, you know, you know the um, the GBUs? It's, it's the oh, same explosion yeah. texture. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, there's Hacker 3, uh, Hack 3 going down. So the timer still runs when Terminal 3 is hacked. So if Green 4 was able to fight off that three-man offensive, and it was anyone's game at that point, uh, they mm -hmm. might have been able to then hold for time because all they would have needed to hold was for five minutes and then the Terminal 3 hack would have stalled the timer because I'm not seeing the timer stop for the Terminal 3 hack. So. It might act like an overtime, like if the timer Maybe. was to yep. go out uh, the round timer was to go out then it just like hold until the hack timer was either stopped or completed but uh we will never know because this hack will complete before that timer expires. i will say this though uh air once again was just wasted in this round unfortunately i i'd love to see air do mm -hmm. some amazing stuff but mm -hmm. i guess we'll have to but wait till next it, week with that mat team i mean it was a matter of time honestly until they were able to like you remember the highway of death thing that you did a few months ago yep and how you told us, you know, if you want to call an air support, you need to make sure all AA in the area is down. And so that's what they needed to do is go in, find that Matt Gunner, secure that Titan that Independent has, 
and uh, mm -hmm. then call that in because then it's a matter of small arms fire, maybe a dish gun. Uh, but it's a that's a lot less consistent in killing little birds than a tight. So it that's what that that's, that's what they needed to do. But in the end, it didn't really matter too much. It, it just took more time for Blue Forest than it would have uh, than it did without it, or would have with it. I mean. But overall, pretty good, um, pretty good plays from uh, Blue Four. As we see Cyrus with uh, the SVD from the Marksman. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how he got that, but that's a nice. Well, it's because he he ran up and um, they took it off the body. Remember, they brought a technical up there. But there's the hack complete. Timer's still going off for. Uh... That and they're they're staying in the building too, and they explode. Less. Blue Shots victory. going up in On victory. Multiple occasion or multiple fronts, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm tired and it's been a day. But yep. that will conclude round three and another night of Friday night fights. I'm not gonna lie, this was actually probably one of the shorter ones we've done. Uh, yeah, but it's not. It's, it's well, nice though. About eight. And it only took about three hours or so. Mm -hmm. Hour per round, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. The game right. did just end. We're gonna listen to debrief. I'll put uh, team speak up as so, well. Key, good game. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming. And that right, is it. Yeah. So Martin, thank you, you so much for watching, yeah. guys. Go operate GG. operationally. I'll be doing some on the ground stuff tomorrow. Careful, Otherwise, right, cheers, guys. Team, Have a good one. Go operate Ciao, operationally. And uh, yeah, I'll see uh, you when I see you. Four at the end there.